Yo! What's going on, everybody? You're watching Knicks Now by Chat Sports. I am your host, Marshall Green. It is Friday night, Knicks. Nowhere else I would rather be than here live on the channel, breaking it down. And we got a good matchup in store. The New York Knicks get to play one of the best teams in the NBA in the Philadelphia 76ers. I was talking to some people uh, from the chat sports office over the last couple of days, and they asked me, who is your MVP so far this season? And for me, Joel Embiid's got to be at the top of that list. What this guy is doing, doing this year, averaging 35 points per game, obviously double-digit rebounds. He's a part of one of the best teams in the East. He is going to be priority number one for the New York Knicks to slow down if they want to win a ball game. If Joel Embiid gets loose, Joel Embiid gets hot, the Knicks are going to be in a little bit of trouble. We know Mitchell Robinson is out with no return date in sight. So we're looking at Isaiah Hartenstein against Joel Embiid. And as much as we love Hartenstein, that mad matchup favors the Philadelphia 76ers. But I do think Hartenstein is going to have some plays today. We're going to be like, whoa. Whoa, because this guy can protect the rim. We saw him do it over the last couple of games. I'm excited to see those two guys go at it on the other end. As I do got producer Coop in the building. Let's it's, go. Let's go, baby. Friday night Knicks. Friday night Knicks. We already got our first super chat of the day. My guy, I am Jules. I am Jules. Happy Friday, my man. Good to see you. He says, let's get this win. This will be a big test for us. And I just right now... Uh, I, I, I'm excited to see every time the Knicks play, OG Ananobi play for the New York Knicks. And I know he's not a guy that's going to get you 20. He's not going to get you 25. He's not going to do any of that. But he is a guy that I feel like just pops off the page when you watch him. And I'm excited to see how the Knicks are going to deploy him to try to slow down one of the best offenses in the league in the Philadelphia 76ers. Because as good as Embiid has been, Coop, Maxi has took it to another level this year. Yeah, maxi has been absolutely awesome. He's honestly taken it to a level I didn't think he could coming out of Kentucky a few years ago. He has completely reinvented his game, become one of the best young guards in the league to this point, and he's becoming a great Robin for, uh, for Mr. Embiid. And it's going to be interesting to see how the Knicks try to slow down him on the perimeter. I don't expect Ananobi to be fully on Maxi the entire time. That's not really what I would try to work. Uh, I think he's probably going to start with Dante DiVincenzo on him, and that's a matchup that does not favor the New York Knicks. But then you got guys off the bench. Will Josh Hart try to guard him some? Will Quentin Grimes try to guard him some? I bet we see Deuce McBride try to guard Tyrese Maxi a little bit tonight. Um, I'm excited to see this one because I don't know how, uh, how the Knicks are going to really... While we may be a bad, we're, they're a bad matchup for us. We're kind of a bad matchup for them in a sense. Because Hardenstein's going to bring out and be to the perimeter. The Knicks are going to drive uh, as good as the power forwards are for the 76ers. I don't think there's anyone on that team that could stop Randall from getting to the cup. Uh, there's just no one there. Is Tobias Harris doing that? Is one of the Morris brothers doing that? Um, I don't think so. And I think Julius Randall could be a guy that has a big game tonight. He's been on fire. He's making a case to be a three-time All-Star and a three-time All-NBA player. I mean, his last 28 games, he's averaging 26 points, six points per game on 52% from the deck. That's, uh, that's an All-NBA type performance, uh, if you ask me. We got already 165 people watching. If you could, now up to 185. We're going to continue to break this down from every angle here in this pregame show. We'll have some fun. We'll have our tailgate as we always do. But please hit that thumbs up icon. 185 people watching. 29 likes. The math isn't mathing. Those are rookie numbers. So please hit the thumbs up icon. Share the stream with your friends. And if you have liked the video, drop a me in the comment section so I know who the real ones are. We'll get into the pregame a little bit more. But first, I got to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app in North America. And my favorite thing about it is it's easy and you can win real money. Look, I'm rolling with a two player lineup today. And that's what you do you select lineups of two to six players and you just choose more or less on their projected stat line. In the first two games of the OG Ananobi era, Jalen Brunson has had 12 plus assists in both of those games. He's been more of a playmaker with the ball in his hands. And I think that will continue tonight. Give me more on his assist numbers. And then I'm also going to go with more points, rebounds, and assists for Joel Embiid. Uh, I think it's a tough matchup for the Knicks. I think Embiid is going to get his. I surely hope he doesn't, but my basketball IQ tell me, tells me he does. That's prizepicks.com slash CLNS. And when you use that promo code CLNS, Price Picks will not match your additional deposit up to $100. Let's go, Knicks. You can roll with my picks, fade my picks, 
Or if you're going to play prize picks, just make it with prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Also, I got to give a huge shout out to another sponsor today. We're growing so big because you guys are getting two sponsors. That's awesome stuff for us here at Chat Sports. And it's Factor. Go to factormeals.com slash NicksChat50. Use that promo code NicksChat50 and start the new year taking advantage of uh, or taking care of yourself. And let's start with being more organized when it comes to our meals in 2024. And you could do that with Factor Meals. Look, if you're somebody that is always on the go, they work different hours. They don't love going to the grocery store. You don't have time to cook. You don't have time to clean. Get hooked up with Factor. Factormeals.com slash NicksChat50. Promo code NicksChat50. Get you 50% off. They're dietitian approved, chef prepared meals, fresh, never frozen, breakfast, lunch, and dinner options, and so much more. Low calorie, high protein, low carb, veggie, vegan, and everything you could think of. It is factormeals.com slash NicksChat50. Promo code NicksChat50. Let's ride. Let's ride. Coop, what do the Knicks have to do tonight? to beat the Philadelphia 76ers? Uh, you gotta be able, I think you got to be able to contain their three-point shooting. I think the 76ers are an underrated three-point shooting team with guys like Maxi, Tobias Harris can knock them down as well. I think if the Knicks keep, keep, it, uh, keep it a half-court game, keep it a slower game, I think they have a chance to win this one. Which is a little bit like you, we think about Tom Thibodeau's teams of playing slower, uh, but so far, look, very, very small sample size, so I don't even like using the term so far. But in the two games OG and Anobi has played for the Knicks, they've upped their pace a little bit. They've gotten out and run a little bit more. OG is a guy who um, has impressed me, Coop, as an athlete. He can get out and yeah, run. He's strong. He's also a guy that pretty much from the block in, like, he's a guy that can operate in that dunker spot, cutting that dunker spot, and catching and rising and flushing. He doesn't have to put the ball on the deck at 6'8", 230. When you've got guys cutting like that, Brunson's going to find him back door all game long. Yeah, when you think of OG, you don't really think of him as a guy who plays in that dunker spot, but he can kind of do it all, and I think that's why Tom Thibodeau likes him. I, th I saw in the first game, he came right in and played, what, 35 minutes or something like 35 that? 35 so. minutes, both games. He's at uh, the team high plus minus. Uh, he's already had like six dunks in two games. Um, he he's a Tibbs guy. He is he is the he is this team's Lou Alding. No doubt about it. He is he is he is the twenty twenty four Lou Alding. He's going to play a lot of minutes, and I just think he fits like a glove into the Knicks. I think it was the perfect trade for New York. Yeah, it sucks giving up quickly, but I still think it was a great trade, and it's going to pay serious dividends. Uh, and they're going to re-sign him, right? Absolutely. I mean, so. uh, well, his agent is Sam Rose, who is the son of Leon Rose, so I expect that deal to be done if it's not already done. I mean, oh, is man. that deal already hand shot? Deal's already done. I mean, you're not trading for him if you don't think he's re-signed. What? Unless it just goes haywire and he hates Tibbs and he doesn't like playing for the Knicks. Um, I think he's going to be back. Ian Begley this... on, on his podcast, he said, the first person to tweet at me, OG and Anobi, I'll give you $100 if he doesn't re-sign. So this I think was... this is already done. This deal was done before the Brunson deal to the <laughs> Knicks was done, and that was done six months before he signed. I'm a huge fan of the deal, man. Uh, I know it leaves you weak in areas. We know how good uh, Emmanuel quickly was, and we know how important R.J. Barrett could be from time to time. Talk about in those games against the Cleveland Cavaliers in the playoffs. I'm not sure you beat the Cavs without R.J.'s 20-point games. He had like six really good games in that 11-game stretch play uh, in the playoff stretch. But you consolidated a player in Emmanuel quickly who you and him were so far away from reportedly on numbers in a contract, yeah. and you turned that and R.J. Barrett into a guy who can be a starting small forward on a championship team. I just think R.J. ran his course in New York. I yeah. think Tibbs was tired of him. I know you were tired of him. I was I think tired the Knicks of him. fans were. He gets a fresh start. He gets to go back home to Toronto. So I think it's a good deal for both parties. I I'm do, too. I think it's a win-win for both teams. I'm still, I'm still shocked that the Knicks didn't have to give up a first-round <sighs> pick, but... Hey, I will never forget the feeling. I'm laying down in my bed. I'm scrolling Twitter. I got the push notification that it happened. I said, this isn't real. So I closed out Twitter, went straight to Woj's profile. I was like, holy shit, this is real. And then I said, I read it, and it said, Knicks are trading RJ Baird and Manuel quickly for OG and Anobi. And it said, for draft pick compensation. I said, all right, how many, many first, first round picks? How many firsts? We didn't give up any. We didn't give up any. And that's going to keep you flexible for years to come to potentially make trades for when more stars become available uh, which is going to happen. Uh, that's just the life in the NBA. As Johnson you coming in with a $5 super chat. What's good, my favorite producer? Johnson you Johnson, and Coop, the duo that everyone needs, says, tuning in from Philly, 
OB greater than OG. Oh. He doesn't actually believe that. Uh, I don't think he yeah, believes okay, anything he says besides that first paragraph. He's not in Philly. He doesn't like OB Toppin. I don't, I don't, I haven't, I haven't really got to see exactly how OG and OB feels on this trade. Uh, OG and OB. My guy Johnson, you, I know he's upset quickly left, but he also like is an RJ Barrett guy, but he wants to act like he's not. Look, if, if the, Rumors that the Knicks and Quickly were so far apart on an extension, then there it was a no-brainer to move him for a guy like him. Yeah, and as good as Quickly is, are the Knicks, and this is, this is really unfair to say, were the Knicks ever going to win a championship with either A, Emmanuel Quickly in the starting lineup next to Brunson, or B, Emmanuel Quickly making $25 million on this roster? I think the answer to both of those is probably no. I agree. I it's think both, no. I think those answers are no. As good as quickly as he says, I am indeed not an RJ Barrett fan. I'm a big quickly fan. I don't know. You, I remember a couple summers ago you telling me the Knicks could not trade RJ Barrett for Donovan Mitchell. Look, maybe I'm a star J guy. His time just ran. I his think course. he's going to have a good career. Time just ran his course. I think his role in the NBA is play 20 to 30 minutes off the bench, and the coach just says, "Come in and get downhill." Yep. Don't worry about defending. You're not he's in the over, closing was, lineup. And at the end of the day, I think he's overpaid. And he is overpaid. He is, and uh, Emmanuel quickly was the prize in that trade. Do we want to roll with this? Uh, we could do it. All we right. could do it. F it. Let's ride. We are going to roll. We, we, we'll do a little Super Chat menu today. Why not? It's Friday. Um, Nick Sixers. Nick Sixers. Screw it. Screw it. I mean, let's party. Let's party. Every Super Chat, we're giving a shout out. You know what? We're slicing the deals in pregame. Slicing the deals 50% off before tip off. So for the next 12 minutes, we'll do $10, $10 Patron shots. We'll do $25 beer shots, shotguns. And if we get a $50 super chat, uh, I'll do a beer boot. F it for a 50. Let's try. It's Friday night, Knicks. Um, I could hydrate myself a little bit with that beer boot. Get me ready to go for the weekend. So shout out to you. Johnson, you I know, Brody. You're my guy. You know what it is. Shout out to the real ones in the chat. Duncan Dixon says Brunson's going to score 40 points tonight. Brunson's an interesting matchup because Philadelphia doesn't really have any elite defensive guards. Uh, like, are they going to put Maxi on Brunson? I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see. As the MVP of the Knicks win over the Chicago Bulls, Eric, Eric Trump is in the building. Let's go, Trump. Shout out to Eric Trump. He says, let's go, Knicks. Get the dub. Nick's greater than the 70 shitters. F Rolly. Still F the ball sacks. Nick's winning by 200. Not a typo. Over the failed process. Nick's over everybody. Let's have it go, Nick's. Shout out to my guy, Eric Trump, in are, the building. Who are the ball sacks? Uh, the Bulls. Oh, okay, cool. The Bulls. F the Bulls. Um, Nick's worked them. Seeps was very upset on stream. It was Don't electric. Um, he complained that the Nick's. We're in the refs' pockets, and the Knicks were getting all the calls. Even that's what though, losers do. And even though somehow the Bulls had 12 more free throws. That's I don't know how that's possible. <laughs> I don't know how it's possible. Um, I think talent just took over in that second half versus the Bulls. But Eric Drump, my man, happy Friday. I know you're drinking with me. Let's go, Drump. No Hennessy tonight. We're back on the tequila. Um, I just can't do the Hennessy like that, man. I was really mad at Seeps on the way home. It just I can't control myself off the henny. We're working all weekend. Got to pace ourselves. Working all weekend. It is Friday night. Let's go out and party. Eric Trump, salute to you. An absolute real one. Shout out to Eric. And shout out to DMusic181. Coming in from the UK. Woo! My guy DMusic's been tuning in for a couple of weeks now. Shout out to you for tuning in. Shout out for being a real one. He says, Marsh, would you debate Stephen A. Smith? Stephen A doesn't want that. Stephen doesn't. Stephen doesn't want the smoke. Stephen doesn't want the smoke. It'd just be two guys, one a Knicks fan, not a Knicks fan, just two guys with bad hairlines going at it. Also, you know D Music's a real one because it's currently twelve twenty over in the UK right now. D Music. D Music's been tuning in, and he's been a real one. And that's my guy. Salute to D Music. Would I debate Stephen A. Smith? What are we debating? What are we debating? If it's Knicks, if it's sh like. Just like him not being a Knicks fan? Yeah, I'd love to debate His that. His first move as the executive was to sign Lamar Odom. Who was on crack? crack? What about what he said the other day? I'm a bigger star than almost everybody on the Knicks. Stephen A. Smith, go fuck yourself.
All right. I didn't even know he said that. He said, I'm the bigger, I'm the one of the big, then, so that's a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. He also said that the, he, this was my favorite Stephen A. Smith thing recently. It's Joey DeLuca coming in with a dollar super chat. We appreciate you, Joey. And then Brian B. coming in with a dollar super chat. Shout out to you. Stephen A. Smith last week, when the Knicks, I believe, had to play the Bucks on Christmas, or maybe it was a game after that, talked about with Mitchell Robinson out, and he literally said this, and Jericho Sims out. I have to watch some dude named Isaiah Hartenstein play basketball. One, Hartenstein is way better than Jericho Sims. Two, he may be the backup, best backup big in the league. And the dude had 20 rebounds, five assists, five blocks, and 10 points He's last a beast. night. Two nights ago. I'm a big Isaiah Hartenstein fan. So, Stephen A. Go after yourself. Be better. You owe that man an apology. And it's because he looks like me. That's why you talked about him like that. Johnson U, what's going on, my man? $10 super chat from JU. What's up, Brody? One for Marsh, because you got to watch the Giants this weekend. And then he says one for Coop for joining <laughs> us for this lovely beatdown. <laughs> Let's go, Johnson All right, I'm going to go grab a shot glass real quick. Um... Yeah, I'm so upset that, you know, this uh, Sunday will be the last Giants watch party of the year. I'm so upset. Um, season just didn't go how we wanted to for Big Blue. But you know what? It's Knicks season. I got Knicks fever. I got Knicks fever. And I'm ready to watch some basketball. I told the bosses I want to do every Knicks game from here to the end of the season. The only one I'm not going to be doing to my knowledge, is next Thursday when the Knicks come to Dallas to play the Mavericks. I bought my tickets today. I'm going to be in the building for when the Knicks play the Mavs. Coop will be in the building, as will Patrick Seatman, and as will my pop. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, the Chat Sports Boys and Freddie G uh, will, be going to, will be going to the Mavs and Knicks game next week. I'm pumped up about that. I haven't seen the Knicks play in a couple in a while in a while um i think the last time i may have saw the knicks play was when porzingis was on the knicks and they came to houston and porzingis had like seven eight nine ten nine blocks something like that it's been a while so i'm excited to see Jalen brunson play for the first time i haven't seen any of these players on the knicks play uh i'm excited for that i'm excited for that johnson you <coughs> that's for you. Brian says, where are my seats? We're in the lower bowl. Um, as you can see, the tequila's already Woo! working for Coop. There's two of me up here. That would be lit. That would be lit. Um, I am behind the Knicks bench, and then one section to the middle, and I'm about 20 rows up. And I'm about 20 rows up. So I'll be able to see Julius. I'll be able to see the boys. If Randall does some dumb shit, I'm back. Yo, Julius! <laughs> Pick it up! Maybe we sneak our phones in there. Can we go live from the stands on YouTube? Probably. I, I don't think we could show the game. I think that's Can't illegal. show the game for sure. Just live reaction? Yeah, you can live react. I'll say this. Whenever the Knicks come to Dallas, they always kick the Mavericks' ass. That was crazy. Um, the Knicks always play well in Dallas. The they Knicks, do. except for when they blew the nine-point lead in 27 seconds last year. Except for when they blew the nine-point lead with 27 seconds left last year. And Brunson will be playing against the Mavs in Dallas for the first time. Yes, he did not play in last year's game. Uh, I believe he had a sprained ankle or something like that. So I think he honestly may have. He, he either didn't play or he got hurt in the first or second he, No, quarter. he didn't play for sure. Someone for sure got didn't. hurt in that Knicks game too. I don't remember who got hurt in that game. I don't remember either. We got know. another 10 from our man, Eric Drum. Bang! Eric Drum says, could Lonzo Ball be a sneaky, cheap trade deal if he can come back and play near his max level before the injury? Drink that shit. <laughs> Happy Friday. What do you mean by Friday? Uh, to French fries? <laughs> Let's go, Knicks. Get the win. Knicks all day. Um, 
Look, I'm one of the biggest fans of Alonzo Ball. Like, if you're a basketball purist, if you just enjoy the game of basketball, you you love Alonzo Ball because he does everything at a high level. He Passes can defend, he can pass, he's a, he's a quarterback on the floor, and he's become a nice knockdown shooter. I just hope for him personally, Eric, that he can get back out there and play basketball. I always feel bad for people when injuries derail their career, and that's what's happened to Alonzo. He's fallen into the camp of Brandon Roy, like the what-ifs, and Alonzo... He deserves better than that. Um, I don't know if I would trade for him. Uh, like if yes, if he if he's back to that player, I want him on the Knicks. But I don't think the Bulls would trade him if he got back to that level. Uh, I'd love to see him play for the Knicks. So I think him and Brunson would be a cool little backcourt. Um, I'm a Lonzo fan, man. I don't think it'd be cheap if he got healthy. Yeah, I mean he's uh, they like, gave him a bag. According to Siebes, he's going to be start running in January. So I hope he's just ready. Does he play this? I hope season? he gets back. Know. Eric, my man, I got a shot to kill for you. And then Kevin Bellotti. <laughs> what up, Brody? They appreciate the super chat. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. They are awesome. Marsh as a season ticket holder. Every home game is amazing. Enjoy them. Kevin, I am jealous you are a season ticket holder. Oh, I'm jealous, man. You're living my dream life right there. Shout out to you for supporting the show. Thanks for being a real one, and enjoy enjoy your season tickets. I'm, I'm excited to go to next Thursday's game. Uh, I really, really am. I'll take some pictures. I'll put take some videos. That'll be I, a good time. I want to get there, uh, and my dad will be the same way. We'll want to get there right when the stadium opens and then walk down in the lower bowl section as close as we can. Watch them warm up. Watch them warm up, up and stuff like that. The Knicks will be warming up at the basket adjacent to you. On the Mavs side? Okay. Where do the, the Mavs score in the fourth quarter? In front of their own bench or the other? Uh, away team chooses. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Usually, uh -huh. uh, away teams, choo you choose to defend. and You choose to be close to your defense in the second half. So you choose to be close yeah. to your bench. Yeah. yeah no, that, 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 that's kind of what I was expecting. Kevin, appreciate you. And then William Burden, my man, with a $20 super chat. He said, what up? What up, man? What up, Marshall? I've tried Factor, and they're on the money. Factor's good stuff, good, man. man. Um, look, uh, I know you might be skeptical. You've tried the meal prep, and you've tried other meal stuff. This stuff's good. And what I like about it, William, is it, it feels fresh where it's never been frozen. And this, I like that it kind of expires quickly because that exactly. makes me know that it's fresh stuff in there. It's real stuff in there. And Kind of force you to eat it. Uh, you can no. also get like smoothies. And the stuff smoothies in them. are fine. Smoothies are good. Strawberry banana smoothie. I like that. There was a mango the mango one. Mango one was good. And they like these coffee protein shakes. Factors. Factors tough. It's man. legit. Check, them check them out. it out. Support the show. Support the sponsor. William Burton. Thank you for always being a real one, my man. And then Tony. Tony, my man. What up, Tony? Tone. He said, "What up, y'all?" Tony Montana. Tony Montana copped a Hardstein jersey. His energy is his energy is lit. It's up. Uh, it's, he lit it up in the garden. Yes, sir. I like our chances tonight. I think we could pull it off. Hey, if the Knicks are going to win tonight, they're going to need your boy fifty-five to play some good basketball. Continue to do what he's done the last couple of games because uh, he's going to be playing in the against the best center in the Eastern Conference tonight, and he's got fourteen straight games with thirty and ten. Does Joel Embiid longest this, streak? Uh, since some guy in, named Kareem who Who's played that? in 1972. Weird. No idea who that is. This countdown to tip was about 13 minutes off, by the way. So we've got a, <laughs> we've got a little bit of time. Hey, it's the ESPN game. You know they're going to push it back. Yeah, you know. Tony, shout out to you. You guys are lit. We got 400 people in here watching. Hit if you haven't icon. yet, two things we ask. If you are subscribed to the channel, hit the like button. If you aren't subscribed, subscribe and hit the like button. Once we get to 100 likes, we'll take another shot at tequila. We got 400 in, people in here watching. We want this to be the number one live stream out there. So hit that thumbs up icon, subscribe to the channel. As it's Nick Davidov in the chat. Everybody get the eyeball emojis going for Nick Davidov in the chat. What up, man? Davidov, are you going to be going to the Knicks at Dallas Mavericks game next Thursday. Does Davidov live here? Davidov goes to every Knicks game. I don't know how he does really? it. I don't know how. There's rumors he travels with the team. I don't know. Is that true? That's what. There's rumors on the streets. Davidov, I am at the game in Dallas this upcoming Thursday versus the Knicks. 
and I'd love to see you. He says he's going to be there. He said he's going to be there. Davidov, I'll be there, and I would love to meet you, brother. I'd love to take a picture. I'd love to say thank you for all the love you show. It'd be pretty cool if we got to meet up. Hey, if anybody wants to make this Knicks Mavs game a little Knicks now meet up, we'll be there. Me, Seeps, Coop, we'll all be there. Let's ride. Woo! Super last minute. Super last minute, but it is what it is. It is what it is. I, I wouldn't be surprised if a couple real ones make the trip. Let's ride. Shout out to Davidov in the chat. Be electrified if, if we got to meet up. Shout out to everyone tuning in. Shout out to Juan, Joey DeLuca, Tamar Bowles, Shipmaster Kyle, Mary Beth. What's up, Mary Beth? Mr. Pete, Eric Trump, John, Will, Keith Turner. What up, Keith? William McConaughey. What's going on? He says, Leon's batting 1,000 on free agents. Not true. He fumbled the bag with Evan Fournier. But, no, he's been good as of late. He's been good as of late. Shout out to Brian B., Duncan Dixon, Mr. Pete, John Pettit, all the real ones in the chat. And then my guy, Trey Miles. Yeah. What up, Trey? Money making Marsh and Coop in the Coop. I definitely looking at the big man matchup tonight. Let's sub for Nick's dubs. Trey Miles, I don't know if you heard me. I know that you live in Texas. Um, or you were in Texas. I, I thought you lived in Texas because we were going to meet up for the Giants Cowboys game. We're in the building. We're we're in the building. Mavs Knicks next week. Trey Miles. If you could pull up, that'd be dope. That'd be dope. Shout out to him. And then we had Mark Ratliff, my man, coming with a five dollar super chat. What up, Mark? Marky Mark. He says, big shout out to Marshall for all the content. Absolutely. Go New York. Shout out to you guys. Look, I wouldn't be doing this content if it wasn't for people like y'all that tune in because. One, I wouldn't be able to do this if nobody watched. I'd be looking for a new job. So for me, Coop, everybody here at Chat Sports, uh, just thank you to you guys for always interacting and engaging with our content. There's a reason that we've continued to grow and grow and grow. And we right now are the second biggest Knicks YouTube channel uh, when it comes to subscribers. And uh, we're coming for more. We're coming for more. That's what we want. We want to be your go-to stop. It's going to be a big 2024. Big 2024 for Knicks now. Absolutely is. Mark Ratliff, happy Friday, and let's go Knicks, my man. Thank you for the kind words. Tony back in the building. What up, Tony Tone? He says, you don't think they're going to put OG on Embiid, then collapse a double if he's on the block. I feel we have good enough D to rotate. Um, I would almost rather see Hardenstein be the main defender and OG be the guy that comes in doubles. And he has active hands, size, and strength. We saw OG guard Cat. In that first matchup against the Minnesota Timberwolves in the OG and OB debut. And OG did a great job on Cat. Thing is, Cat is not in beat. Um, in beat's a little more physical. I don't hate the matchup of him, OG on in, uh, in beat, uh, but I don't love it either. I like him coming over Coop and kind of just being that total. Uh, yeah. Just. Just reactionary and double team guy. Yeah, I don't necessarily want to have him on the five because I think that would just take a toll on his body throughout the game, him, him having to guard Embiid. Embiid's got five to six inches and 50 pounds on Ananobi. So that would take a hell of a toll on him. Probably would take away from his offensive game as well. And could so, get him in foul trouble. Exactly. I, I do like the idea of him being the help defender on Embiid because he does have those active hands and he has a really good defensive basketball IQ. So I like that for sure. Tony, there you go. As Nick Davidov. <laughs> Shout out to Davidov. My man, what up? Davidov, it's the Knicks versus Mavs game, but it's going to be in Dallas. It's going to be in Dallas. I know I got to find a game. I'm looking at February for me to come up to New York and we do a real Knicks now meetup. I want to go up That's there in sick. February, go to a game. That'd be pretty dope. Um, That's the goal. Davidov, he's been begging me to come up there, and he's, he said he's got tickets for the kids. So we're, we're trying to make it up there, but... You, you and Producer Seeps? Me and Producer Seeps. Maybe we could throw Coop in, in the luggage and we, and, we, and we sneak him into the garden. Um, Davidoff, the game I'm going to, though, this Thursday, well, a week from yesterday, will be in Dallas. In Dallas. Uh, I'll send you an email, uh, and, and we'll talk about it. Davidoff, appreciate the love, my man. Have fun at the game tonight if you're there. And let's go, Knicks. As Trey Miles, a $5 super chat. Shout out to Trey Miles. Yeah. He says, I'm there. 
What we drink in dark, clear, talk to me. My born day is the day after. We in the effing building. Let's go. No questions. Bro, are you for real? Are you for real pulling up? Me, Coop, my pops, and seeps will be there. We'll be there, Trey Miles. We will definitely link up. We'll get a picture of the real ones. Shots on me, though, Trey. Are we getting lit on Thursday? I'm, I don't work Thursday. I'm down to pregame. Either post way. Game. Pre-game, mid-game, post-game. I'm off Friday as well, so uh, it could be a good day to sleep in. Trey, we're linking up, and shots on me. Shots it's, on it's me. It's clear tonight, though. Johnson U says, I'll be at the Knicks versus Dallas game, tuning in from Dallas at the AAC. Johnson U, don't tempt me with a good time. Johnson U. That would, that's kind of messed up for him to even joke about that, uh, with us two specifically. Yeah, that, that's a joke, Johnson U. You can't joke. Like that. Uh, if, if you're in Dallas, Johnson U, I'll get you a ticket to the game. <laughs> ticket free. Johnson U, that would be lit. I would love to see everybody there. Um, we'll do an official Knicks Now meetup one of these days. I wonder if Jalen Brunson gets a video tribute. I don't think so. No? I think he should. I think he should. Everyone but. gets a tribute these days. I think Presh the Chew is going to get a tribute when he goes oh back to the Masters. Oh, man. Um, I mean, I could see him not getting one, but he's, like he's loved in Dallas, though he should be. He, he should is. be. I know a couple of twenty dollars super chat came in. I got a shot at Tequila. Let's go! Shout out to Trey Miles in the chat. We can do this. We're uh, awaiting tip about seven minutes away. Predict the score of tonight's game. Love that. Let us know what you guys think the final <laughs> score will be. <clears throat> Predict the score. Predict the score for me down in the comment section. Uh, it was Joey DeLuca who asked, excuse me, not Trey Miles. But Joey, way. Joey, you know when I'm in New York and we're going to a game, you're invited, brother. Everyone's invited, and I better see guys like Joey DeLuca. Shipmaster Kyle, what up, Brody? Appreciate you stopping by. Since said Super Chat's coming in. We're having some fun. We're having some fun. Shout out to everybody that supports. Uh, every, every time you Super Chat, you're investing into the channel because it doesn't go to me. It goes back into the channel. That way we could do watch parties every single game, and we can get you guys more products. Rumor has it we may be getting new graphics soon here on Chat Sports. Oh, yeah? So, it's people are people, talking? Yeah, that, that said, that's rumors that I've heard. Rumors that I've heard we could be getting a new whole new graphics setup. Um, it's because people support channel like you guys. Every channel we have here at Chat Sports. DFAS says, Nick's winning three straight against these teams would be huge. A win tonight would be huge. It absolutely would, my man. Duncan's going 130, 122. BSG says 115, 126. Evan, what's up, Evan? 136, 133. Eric Trump, 279 to 79. Oh, man, that would be electric. Joey goes 112, 109. Stax is in the building, 118, 116. Johnson News says 150 to 75. Ryan Arch, 12 minutes in playing time. Masterclass. I would love to see Ryan Archie Diacono playing minutes tonight because that means it's probably a blowout. And hopefully that means for the Knicks. Jay Rock says, how about 25 points for OG tonight? I'm saying it now. I would love to see OG be um, implemented into the offensive game plan a little bit more. It'll um, take time. Let's take time. Keep just playing on ball, off ball. Yep. Be ready to catch and fire. Cut. And you'll get some looks. I would like to see... And uh, I, I've made a big deal of this just because it's upsetting because, you know, you miss mainly quickly. But you know another trade is coming and has to come. But right now that bench unit, when they go Miles McBride, Quentin Grimes, Josh Hart, Julius Randle, and a big, they have struggled mightily offensively. And I almost would like to see OG at the four instead of Randle open up the four a little bit more. And maybe OG, I'm not, OG's not ready to be an engine to an offense, but I'd like to see him get some looks. I like to see him get a look on a weak side drive, a, a high pick and roll with somebody. Um, Something I loved that I saw OG said, he told Jalen Brunson when they were coming to a timeout, he's like, I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just going to keep cutting. Yeah, just keep Smart cutting. Smart basketball. Smart basketball. Sit in the corner. If your guy falls asleep, cut. I'm with it. I'm with it. Uh, I've been thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with the way Ananobi has played. We all know that someone has to come. Uh, uh, someone else is coming to the Knicks. Um, they need a guard off the bench that not cannot just create for themselves, but needs to create for others, and ideally be a good. You need a new. You need quickly. You, 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 you need. You need, some, a, you need another quickly. You need another quickly, and you could find those guys. That's no disrespect. To quickly, you could find other. Uh, Malcolm Brogdon. Go go get Malcolm Brogdon. Go get Dejounte Murray. Murray would obviously start, but 
There's moves to be made. There Do are you moves. want Murray? I don't love the fit. I don't love the fit. If all it costs me, and all is kind of a bad word to use in that situation, but if I'm giving up Fournier, Grimes, and, unpro and, and, and protected picks, yes, I'm doing it. Because I think that you give him the season, works out, doesn't work out. One, it makes you better. It makes you better by doing that because you're turning the 18 million unused salary uh, of Fournier into a player that is For good. sure. So it makes the Knicks better. But um, let's say it doesn't work out, right? And we all would hope it would work out, and he's the perfect two-do next to Brunson, and it works. But let's say it doesn't work out. Then you could still make another trade, but now your best trade piece is DeJounte is Murray, a, yeah. and that's a good starting block if you still got all your unprotected first-round picks. Like, say, say for, for whatever reason, it is Donovan Mitchell. What's more enticing to the Cavaliers? Grimes, Fournier, and two protected first-round picks, or DeJounte Murray, and then you still have the opportunity to get more first-round picks. Um, I would go. like it. I think the fit with Brogdon is a little bit better, but I like the defensive versatility that Murray brings. His catch-and-shoot numbers historically have not been good. This year, he's up to like 37%. If you knock down 37% of your catch-and-shoot threes, you could play on Mike Ball Club. Um, I don't know. I think he's the best you could do right now, though. I think he's the best you could do right now. Johnson, you, what up, man? What you think about Pascal Siakam or the cum bucket? I'm good on Siakam. I don't know where he would play on this team unless you're giving up Randall, and I'm not giving up Randall for Pascal Siakam. When it comes to the cum bucket, a.k.a. Jonathan Kuminga, uh, I don't really see where he fits on this team either. Uh, you have your hyperactive, defensive-minded small forward now. And you got Josh Hart playing your three off the bench. I'm not really interested in either of those guys. I'm looking for a guard, a guard that can initiate and be the offense at times. As William Chavez. What up, William? First time Super Chat. A shout out to my man, William. Says, hey, guys. Cheers from a Brazilian Knicks fan, Obrigado. shout out to you. Knicks now is worldwide. We had people tuning in from the UK. We got my man rocking out from Brazil. Shout out to everybody in the building. We are moments away from tip-off with 400 people watching. If you haven't yet, please hit that thumbs up icon. If you want the Knicks to beat the Sixers, hit the thumbs up icon. And if you have liked the video, comment me down below and I'll give shout outs to the real ones. Ugly gang says, would we be able to get Malcolm Brogdon and Murray? Probably not. It's one or the other from what I, from what I understand. Shout out to Brian, Stax, BSG. What up, Big V? Shipmaster Kyle. Will from Brazil. Steve Chandler. Shout out to Tony, Mr. Pete, William Chavez, Joey DeLuca, BSG, EC, Top Dog. What up, Mr. Pete? Valerie. What's up, Valerie? Kent Neal. What up, Carl? Kevin Bellotti. Bellotti. Bellotti, for Bellotti. sure. Bellotti. Bilotti, Bilotti, like gelati. What up, David Zucca? There are so many Knicks fans. There's a Brazilian, there's a Brazilian of us. <laughs> I see what you did there. Get it? You get it. Well, Kendrick Gill's in the building. Thick clapper. Hey, yo. I am Jules. BX banging. NY repping. What up, Johnson? You? What up, Jay Liv? Let's go, let's go, let's go. All righty. The tip is up. And Philadelphia will control, and it will start with OG and an OB on Tyrese Maxey. And then Embiid's going to throw it away, and then he's going to limp up the floor. Embiid looks to be hurt. Uh -oh. Now he's going to jog it off. But on the first possession of the game, we saw Ananobi on Maxey. Interest, interested to see if that will be the matchup the entire game. Knicks wearing their blues. Sixers wearing their reds. Brunson hesitates. Goes at and beat off the glass. In <laughs> Jalen Brunson, an absolute mastermind from the foul line down. F foul line down. And banks it in. As Embiid's going to drive on Hartenstein. Layup, good. That's going to be a tough matchup for the Knicks. It's going to be an important matchup because they can't just let Embiid go nuclear tonight. 30 straight of 30 and 10. The or dude, 14 straight of 30. He's that. incredible. Brunson, he'll take a three. In and out. Rebound by Philly. Brunson comes out two shots. He's one of two. It'll be Maxi bringing it up the left side. They, Batum sets a screen, and an OB fights through it. Maxi goes at it, and an OB. He'll pull up. Foul line jumper. No good. Steven Chenzo pulls down the board. He'll push. Chenzo pulls up for three. Good. Dante Steven Chenzo in transition. Stops and pops. And the Knicks are up 5-2. to two. 
And Bean and Hartenstein will be the matchup to watch. This is stolen weak side. DiVincenzo's out and running. He's going to go lay up. Smoked, but he's fouled. He's fouled. Kelly Oubre whacked him. DiVincenzo off the ball. We talked about it. May not be an elite on-ball defender, but there's not that many better off-ball defenders than a guy like Dante DiVincenzo. Active hands, high IQ, and has a knack for playing in the passing lanes. Shout out to DDV as he knocks down the first free throw. Kelly Oubre, the only man in the NBA to a fake a car accident. Is that confirmed? Uh, not confirmed that he faked it now. <laughs> It might be, though. Oh, man. DiVincenzo knocks down both. Knicks up 7-2 to with about 10.30 to go. Well, once again, see Ananobi picking up Maxi. They're going to post up Batum on Brunson and throws it inside to Embiid. Embiid's fouled on the catch. DiVincenzo got a little bit greedy. He tried to jump that pass, but he comes in and he whacks Embiid, and he'll go to the line for a pair himself. J-Rock says, it's 400 people in here. You tuned in, like the video. I'm with you. We got 440 people watching, only 134 likes. Would greatly appreciate it if y'all could hit that thumbs up icon. It's the easiest way to support the channel. As it beats, first free throw, rattles in. Rattles that one in. I am Jules says shooting 44% from three is awesome. Yeah, it's nice to have a guy like DiVincenzo out there who so far this year has been one of the better three-point shooters in the association. Chenzo belongs in the starting lineup. I love the, his ability to, to stretch the defense out and just the readiness to be a catch-and-shoot player. No doubt. That helps, man. That's why I, I wouldn't mind Brogdon, and Brogdon is your point guard off the bench. And if he's playing good, he can close next to Brunson. He's six foot four. Guy was an instrumental piece to the, to the Boston Celtics last year, one of the best teams in the NBA in the regular season. I like Brogdon as a two. Yeah. John, what's up, man? Don't think you could stop and be, but I have to slow him down. Yeah, there's, he's one of those guys. He's in that Luka and Jokic class where you don't stop these guys. You make it hard for them, and you, and you make them work, and you try to make them play worse than their averages. That's really about it. Shout out to Brian B. He says, get to 32K tonight. Hit Let's that sub it. button. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. We're trying to get to 32,000 subs tonight. That's the goal for today's show. Let's roll. As in bead. Oh, man. 34.8 points per game and almost 12 boards. I think he's the front runner to be the MVP yet again. Three-point game as uh, Batum is going to pick up Brunson full court. Causes Randall to dribble it up. And now they'll switch it around. Brunson. So at the top of the key, you're going to get a DiVincenzo pick and roll with Randall, And now they're going to post up Julius on the smaller Maxi. He's got him on the left elbow extended area. He'll pull up for two. No good. Don't like that shot. And it's off the mark. Here comes Tobias Harris pushing the pace for Philly. He'll get downhill. Goes at Ananobi to his left hand. Missed. Good contest by OG. He's already forced two misses tonight. Randall's going to go at Batum. He's going to take him into the post. He's going to spin, takes the contact, jumper, no good. Back-to-back -back forced free, uh, field goals, I would say, from Julius right there. And Bede will now have it beyond the three-point arc. They're going to post up Tobias Harris on DiVincenzo, and they're going to call a foul low on Chenzo. That's his second one already. <gasps> Some to monitor there as he's in early foul trouble. Who do you go to first guy off the bench? Is it McBride? <sighs> Maybe Grimes or Hart. Grimes or Hart, I would assume. Maxi up top, pick and roll, being trailed by Ananobi. Gets to his right hand, layup, no good. But Embiid with the rebound, weak side, almost blocked by DiVincenzo, but Embiid gets it to go. He's got all six points for Philly. Batum guarding Brunson. They're getting that length on him. That's an interesting matchup for them. I think Brunson should be able to cook Batum. Arnstein, dribble handoff to Ananobi, being guarded by Kelly Oubre, who's holding his hands by his, behind his back. This is the most dribbling we've seen Ananobi do, and he's blocked weak side by Oubre. Here comes Tobias. He'll kick it up to Maxi, who Euros into the lane, layup good, and it's an A6-0 run for Philly, as it was 7-2 just a moment ago. It's 8-7 now. Knicks have struggled to get a quality shot last couple possessions. Batum's got a good, been a good, done a good job denying Brunson the rock. Brunson now controls, runs 
off the screen, gets into the lane, drops it off to Randall. Randall goes at the rim, layup, miss, balls loose. Philly controls. Here comes Tobias Harris. He finds Maxi, who launches a deep three. No good. Rebound by Hartenstein. Knicks need to get a good quality shot here. Brunson uses the screen, gets to the free throw line, rises too strong, and Oubre hauls it down. He'll throw it up ahead to Tobias Harris, who's wide open and throws it down. It's an 8-0 run for Philly, and I bet Tom Thibodeau could take a timeout here. He's going to let the kids play. Oh, no, he's not. As Tibbs will take the first timeout of the game. Knicks came out hot. Haven't really settled into a good off offensive possession since they hit that seven-point mark. Two force jumpers from Randall. Um, Ananobi got a shot blocked. Brunson missed a 15-footer off the right side. Um, got to get better looks. Got to get better looks. Got to get into their offense a little bit more. OG got kind of clamped there by Kelly Oubre on that one possession. Yeah, he's not really a face-up at 18. and Not his game. Triple threat and beat you to the cup. He could do that, uh, but he's an off-the-catch guy for sure. I am Jules. I agree with you. I would have liked to see an OG take that one to the rack. I would have liked to see an OG just go and, and see if he can draw contact. Well, you we are at our first TV timeout of the game. I got to give a huge shout-out to today's sponsor, Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app in North America. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS and prize picks will match your initial deposit up to $100. It's daily fantasy sports made easy. All you do is pick a lineup of two to six players and you simply choose more or less on their projected stat line. The more players you have in your lineup card, the higher your payout can be up to 25 times your money. This is the lineup I'm rolling with tonight. I'm going with more assists than eight for Jalen Brunson and I'm going with more points, rebounds, and assists for Joel Embiid. Get ready to play prize picks this Saturday and Sunday for NFL Week 18 action. Easy and exciting daily fantasy sports. Prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS. 531 watching. If you could, please hit that thumbs up icon. Once we get to 200 likes, we're going to take another shot at tequila. We're up to 165. We'll go to the P zone. We'll go to the Patron zone. I'm about that. And I've got some beers over here that are telling me they want to be shotgunned. We're at $144 in Super Chats. Once we get to $200 in Super Chats, I am going to do a beer shotgun. So we're 55 away as a squad. Once we get there, we'll start, we'll start uh, having some fun. Jet Life says, Marsh, my birthday was yesterday. Can I get a birthday shout out? Happy birthday to my man, Jet Life, for Jet life. life. Everybody get the HBDs in the chat. My man is a real one. He tunes in every single day, and he shows love. So let's show love to one of our family members here at Knicks Now. Get the HBDs in the chat. Happy birthday, brother. Hoping it was a good one, and I'm praying this is your best year yet, bro. Let's ride. Duncan showing love. Joey, Jonathan, Creed, D-Music, Garrett. Here it says, I'm the goat. You're the goat. I ain't nothing. I ain't nothing. Bootsy Jones. I thought that said Booty Jones. <laughs> Showing love. Oh, Joey DeLuca says, shout out to Flada. Shout out to the dudes down in the swamp. John Pettit, Ginger Turtle, Evan Penn, I am Jules. Shout out to you. Thank you, my man. King Joss says, <laughs> what up? Eric Rodriguez. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Here we go. We're going to get back to hoops. Here's the Knicks have it in. On the Philly side of the court. It's a quick inbound from DiVincenzo. Back to him. He'll launch three. Good. Dante DiVincenzo was the inbounder. He threw it to Hartenstein. Hartenstein threw it right back to him. And Dante DiVincenzo connected for his second three of the night. Maxi working it around. A pick and pop with him and Embiid. That's tough. Embiid will pull up right in Hartenstein's face. And it's no problem for the big fellow and reigning MVP. That's a problem. He knocks it down. And then Brunson's fouled in the backcourt. By Batum, he's been all over him tonight, Coop. Yeah, Batum's playing some tight defense. It's an interesting matchup that they're putting the bigger guy on Brunson. Batum, I can't believe he still plays in this league. Yeah. Given how old he is. Wearing number 40, by the way, not a good number. Not a basketball number unless you're Kurt Thomas. Doesn't work. <laughs> Brunson's open, and he's going to give it to Randall at the top of the key. Tobias Harris guarding him. Randall has him on his hip. 
Randall's going to take a step back. Now spinning off and B loses it. Turnover. It's a fast break for Philly. Tyrese Maxey lays it up and in on the break. Couple of Knicks turnovers that resulted in easy hoops here for Philly early on. Brunson has really been rattled by this full court defense from Nick Batum. As he almost turned it over there, but he got Dan and Obi who drops it off to Hardenstein. I think he got fouled. They didn't call it. And it goes out of bounds. That might be off iHeart. As we go to the possession before and see Randall spinning into a double and turning it over. And Maxi finishing the break with the left hand jelly. I'm not but sure what he... happened that pro that last possession. I believe it's Nick's ball. As it will be Nick's ball, I believe. It will. It'll be Hartenstein oh, at the out. line. I didn't see that as a shooting foul, but I'll take it. Hartenstein at the line for two as he misses the first. Duncan Dixon says, make sure to like the video. Absolutely. Please do hit that sub button. Hit that like button. Support the channel. Share the link with a friend. If you got a Knicks fan that wants to check out some fun, informative, entertaining coverage, this is your spot. Sub for Knicks Dugs. Dugs. Dubs. Jeez. Uh, Hardenstein makes a second. 14 to 11 with 6.48 to go. Maxi up top. Being defended by Ananobi. Here comes a screen from Embiid. Maxi kicks. Harris. Three. Good. Harris with a catch and shoot three. Johnson, he says, who is the new Lakers chat sports host? Jake Ritma. Jake Ritma. He also does our Dolphins coverage here. Jake's a good guy. Ananobi gets it to Randall. He's going to post face up on Tobias. He's going to cross him over, post him up now, sees the double from Embiid, kicks it to DiVincenzo, who's open, then finds Brunson in the corner. He'll shoot a three over Oubre, and it's good! Jalen Brunson knocks down the corner three as it's 17-14. to Maxi up top, throws it into Embiid. They'll post up the big fella against Hartenstein. Face him up, jab step, rip through, gets to his right hand, blocked! Julius Randle with a weak side block, and block, and now DiVincenzo's out and running. Randle with a spot up three, off the mark! Randle couldn't cash. Now Embiid pushes the break. He kicks it to a running Harris who finds Maxi, and that is beautiful offense from the Philadelphia 76ers in transition. The ball didn't hit the floor, that's how you draw it up. Knicks got to get back on defense. They're getting dominated in the paint as well. 14 of the 19 Philly points are in the paint. Brunson's doubled. Swings it around to Randall. Randall drives. Finds an open Ananobi in the corner for three. Short. Short. Ananobi unsuccessful on the triple. Maxi gets a screen from Batum. He's doubled by the Knicks. Then he takes Brunson to the cup. Layup. Bumped. Fouled. Go to the line for two. Knicks just don't feel settled into this game right now. No, yeah, a lot of sloppy play on offense. It doesn't feel like they've found a rhythm on either end. I think the length of Batum is really bothering Brunson. Yeah, and he's picking him up, and he's playing in his chest full court. As we know, Brunson has struggled with length at times in his career. Struggled in that Warriors series with the Mavs. Yep. That length gave some issues. Um, we've seen him struggle against Drew Holiday. Um, Knicks need to do a better job of getting him open in the sense of somebody setting a screen so Batum just can't be in his chest and play deny defense the whole night. As Josh Hart will be the first sub off the bench for the Knicks, he'll come in for Brunson. The Knicks will go no point guard lineup here. I haven't seen this lineup run yet in the Ananobi experience. As DiVincenzo drives and he's stolen. He's ripped. DiVincenzo tried a little Euro at the cup as it's an alley-oop. Dubé blocked by Hardenstein. Great defense. Knicks have numbers. It's a four on two. Hart pushes middle. Nice pass to Julius who lays it up and in. That's how you run the break. Hart stopped at the foul line. Gave it to Randall on a scoring position. And he laid it in over Embiid. And it's a five point game. But a different lineup here. We got Randall, we got Ananobi, we got Hartenstein, we got Hart and DiVincenzo. No traditional point guard in the game. And I like this idea from Tibbs here, Coop. If you're going to take Brunson out, let's at least have our best four players on the court. Yeah, go put all your athletic wings out there. You can switch one through five, more or less, even with Randall on the court. And I love the, I love the defense they can bring. I'm curious to see what happens on the other end, though, and how they initiate offense. Because they have struggled without Brunson 
since they lost Emmanuel quickly. That lineup has been terrible, and this is trying to combat that. Haven't tried this lineup in the first two games. Interested to see, as now Miles McBride will come in to run that point for OG and Anobi, so we will not see that lineup. Only one possession. Only one possession, and it was a that lineup's net rating right now is probably like a 250 and zero. Pat Bev is checked in for Philly. He'll drive. He'll take a contested layup, and they're going to call a foul on DiVincenzo. That'll be his third of the quarter. I didn't see a foul there. And I believe this might be free throws for Pat Bev. And it will be. Maybe they called that on Hartenstein. Oh, it was on DiVincenzo, and he's walking to the bench. Pat Bev, first free throw, good. It'll be Quentin Grimes in the game for the Knicks now. I believe that'll actually only be the second foul on DiVincenzo, not his third, his second foul. If that was his third, that would be a problem, but I believe it is his second. Yeah, I think that they changed, they initially called it, on, it a foul on him, and they changed it. Knicks down by six, 4.30 to go in the first. It'll be Pat Bev at the line trying to make it a seven-point game, and he does. He does. The Knicks go to this lineup again with Hartenstein at center, and I don't mind. So let's see what they do. McBride gets a high screen from Hartenstein, kicks it to Randall. Randall to an open Grimes from corner three. No good. Grimes can't knock it down. One of the best left corner three-point shooters in the game, but he missed that one. And B finds an open Oubre. He'll knock down a three. Oh, man, the Philadelphia 76ers are clicking right now. Hardenstein, play makes top of the key. He's going to go at Embiid, left-hand layup. Good, like the aggression there from Ihard. If Embiid's not going to respect you, go lay it off the square. As EC, my man, says, Marsh, I can see where Murray would be a good fit next to Brunson. As that's a three off the mark. Rebound by Josh Hart. He kicks it up to McBride. Knicks have numbers. McBride pulls up for three. Off the arc, off the, off the rim, no good. But it's going to be off Philly. Knicks ball. I see where Murray would be good fit to Brunson, especially if Brunson struggles with length. I do agree with that. I agree with that. And also, you see, uh, this is where you could have DeJounte Murray in the game running your offense. He doesn't just have to play off ball. He'd still get 15 minutes a game uh, at the point guard position running this team. When Brunson sits, it's Murray's job to run the team. I think it's a perfect fit. Uh, I think it's you're making the best lemonade out of the lemons that are out there. It's probably the better way for me to express myself. Thanks for the love, man. As the Knicks have the rock, seven on the shot clock. Julius gets a screen from Hartenstein. Now he's going to go into the paint. He's got Tobias Harris on him. Loses dribble. Hart collects. He's going to have to launch. Lay up. Hart. Good. Wrong-footed little push-up from Hart. It looked crazy, but it resulted in two. Helter-skelter kind of possession there for the Knicks, but it resulted in a pair. We're going to post up Tobias Harris here as Philly. Uh, versus Grimes. Harris puts his back to the basket. Good defense by Grimes. Big rebound by Hart. It's a good stop. I mean, with no uh, Embiid is in the game. Wide open, corner three, McBride. Yes! Deuce is loose from deep. 26-23. As Johnson U says, no more Mike McBride offense, please. Good timing. Good. That's good producing right there. Shout out to Coop. As McBride gets called for a foul on the other end, it'll be Embiid going to the line for two, but it's going to be a TV timeout. Nice I'm, little, nice little seven. -0, sorry to cut you off. No, nice little good. seven zero run there for the Knicks. They, they needed that. They needed that. It looked like it could have gotten ugly there pretty quick. When it was twenty six sixteen, I didn't feel good. Yeah, I was worried, but they got themselves back in the game here. I mean, my number one concern about this team, and it remains that, is how do they score when Jalen Brunson's off the floor? And I mean. Is backup point guard your number one, uh, uh, number one need? concern for me? Yeah, it, and it's not even more so backup point guard. It's um, just another creator. Go for, yeah. That can either a get a, go get a bucket, but b also run and initiate offense. Run and initiate offense. You okay, Smitty? Yeah, no. Just checking in. See how the game's going. How's Celtics looking? Tough team. Yeah, no, tough team. Who are they playing? Why did Twitter today decide that Jason Tatum couldn't be a one? Today, Twitter said, every Twitter person today, let me know. He is the most slender man in America. It's unbelievable. He's not a one. 
See? But it's neither here nor there. The bullshit. You have the little tool size one that's in that now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jason Tatum is not a one. He's being slipped. You can't even say it was a straight face. You believe it. I, I seriously don't believe he is. I'm being dead serious. Who's better, SGA or Jason Tatum? SGA is a better ball player than Jason Tatum. They're not on the same tier. You're right. Who's better, SGA or Tatum? When I come back, Tatum is, let me know what your comment is. Tatum is the eighth best player in the NBA. He is not a number one. We got, one, we got a Tatum overrated. We got an SGA. You, this chat knows ball. Juan says SGA. SGA is a better player than Jason Tatum. It's close. 1v1 edit says Tatum. King Joss says that's tough. Mikey says SGA. Ty SGA. I am Jules SGA. EC. This is why I fuck with you New York guys. A lot of SGAs in the chat. A lot of SGAs in the chat. Tatum is good. Tatum's very good. But SGA is better. Tatum is an all-star player. He is not a number one option on a championship team. He's just not. I just think I would rather have the wing than the guard, though. Yeah, but SGA I think it's is harder built to... like a wing. I know, but... I love SGA, man. I do, too. I do, too. Yeah, Tatum's only 19. So. Yeah, pretty much. Tatum's only 19. Just like R.J. Barrett's... Oh, never mind. We're done talking about R.J. I don't need to yeah, be... Yeah, I don't, I don't need to be mean to him anymore. No. It's over. Wish him the best. Uh, <laughs> Except when he plays the Knicks. Are y'all watching Raptors games? <laughs> I bet some of y'all... I watched the first one. I'm not going to lie. Did you actually? I did watch the first one. I had to check it on my boys. Was RJ excited to be home? He, yeah. At least it seems like it through the media. Uh, I just don't think RJ... I think RJ... I think he let the pressure of New York get to him. I do. I just think the fit was wonky as well once Brunson came. Oh, they're saying SGA. Yeah, it was It was a SGA by a wide It margin. was 80-20. Jake Chipper says, Marsh, bet a drink tonight in the game. Jake Chipper, why aren't you producing this? What is Jake Chipper? What, does, F you, Chip. Have everybody type F type Chip, F in, the Chip in the chat. Chip works at Chat Sports, and he's a diehard Sixers and fan. And he's not even producing. No producing on Knicks. No Sixers watch party tonight, of course. F Chip in he the maybe chat. He skipped the Mavericks game for this. Oh, my what God. F Chip in the chat. F Chip in the chat. Let's go. As Embiid knocks down the first free throw. Frickin' chip, dude. What a sucker. Kid doesn't even burn. Kid doesn't burn shit. Embiid goes 2-2 two two here. 28-23. 2.40 to go. 2.40 to go. McBride will bring it up for the Knicks. New York will move it around. Hartenstein hand off to Randall on the perimeter. Randall's looking to get downhill. He'll pump fake. Step back to Randall. In and out. Ball's in the air, and it's going to be corralled by Josh Hart. The extra effort, out to Deuce, pump fake, relocate, three, bang! Deuce McBride off the bounce, knocks it in, Deuce! Do the Knicks have their backup point guard? They might have him. They extended him like he is their they backup did. point guard. They did. Embiid catches, fires, shot, no good. Rebound by the Knicks. As we're under two minutes to go. Randall brings it up. He's going to go at Pat Bev. This is physical hoops. Of course, Pat Bev flops. Randall finds a Grimes. Grimes finds Hart. Off the R, off the rim. And then Embiid throws an elbow at Hardenstein, you dirty piece. Embiid now drives at Hartenstein. Recklessly blocked! Quentin Grimes get says, out of here. get that shit! And it's a pull-up three for Deuce! Yeah. Deuce McBride! Three threes in the first quarter! Everybody drop a two in the chat for the Deuce! Deuce the basketball! Oh my god, Deuce McBride! He's in fuego. Maxi from the logo. No good. Rebound by Grimes. The energy of this second unit is pay playing huge dividends into this game. As Deuce, he may go heat check from here. He's, he's got Maxi on him. He had the step back, didn't take it. Now he's going to post up Randall. Randall versus Beverly. 10 on the shot clock. Randall finds an open heart. Who finds Grimes in the corner? In and out. No good. Love the possession, though. Love the process and the result of that. Obviously, I'd like for it to go in as Embiid stops and he finds a wide open Morris in the corner. No good. Hart skies for the board. 
I think hearts gave effort that I will have enjoyed today. Randall out on the break to deuce for three. Good. Deuce McBride. Bye. Can we get the Johnson U super chat I, yeah, up? Yeah, I'll put it where, back up. Where he said he didn't want deuce. Ha, ha, ha. Tell me you don't want any more Brunson or Randall too, because that would be good for this game. As Maxi drives layup, good. Six seconds left in the quarter. The Knicks can push for a good shot. Randall will. He'll find an open Hart who's going to go at the lane, and he doesn't get it all. He does, and he got it. Josh Hart with an acrobatic finish, and the Knicks in the quarter up four. 34 30. Let's go, Knicks. Let's go, Knicks. Did he? I think he did get that off. He got it off. Hart hangs, hesitates, layup, oh, yeah. and it's off, and it's in. Nick's up four. Johnson, you did send in another two and said, I was wrong. Good thing I jinx shit. Tell us that jinx some more shit. Oh, my God. Deuce McBride. Wow. This is the Deuce, the Deuce McBride game. Is I'll here. tell you what. The one possession I hated was the possession they didn't get him the rock. <laughs> you got to get him the rock when he's hot. The Bush kid coming in with the $2 super chat as well says, let's go, Knicks. Shout out to the Bush kid. Let's go, Knicks. What a quarter. Have the Knicks found their backup point guard of the future? DeJounte Murray who? <laughs> point guard of the future, dad. Backup point guard. Oh, holy shit. As we got a $20 super chat from Biohazard, Deuce is on, on the loose. loose. Let's go. Deuce McBride, four threes in the first quarter. This guy might need a part, be a part of the closing lineup. Johnson, you with the two says, get Brunson off my team. <laughs> oh, do we trade Brunson and start who, uh, douche, Deuce now? Uh, can I trade you Brunson for Maxi Kleba? I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't think this was possible. Oh, it, this is unbelievable. I've never seen Deuce McBride shoot the ball like this. And I'm a McBride fan. He didn't miss. Uh, no, he missed a pull-up J. He's four for four from deep. I thought he was going to take a step, but that step that, back yeah. in cash. I thought that was a heat check. Holy shit. It's all jokes. No one actually wants Brunson off their team, but if Deuce is going to shoot 100% from the three and get four a quarter, you might have to. I mean, I'll take 16, 16 threes, threes on threes in a game would be pretty good. Ghost As the rider. Ghost Rider, a.k.a. the Goat Rider, shout out to him. And he says, bang! Dude, I mean... Wow. You know that when Randall is the... It, when it's only Randall on the floor and Brunson is sitting, you know that teams are going to hyper-focus on Randall and they're going to have a lot of feet in the paint, which is going to leave people open from three. And I'll tell you this much. If Deuce can be a league average three-point shooter... He is going to be in this Knicks rotation. Absolutely. Uh, if he, no, if he's going to shoot 36% from three, he will be the backup point guard for the Knicks, and the Knicks will use their resources to elsewhere. They the will. Line. They will, because Tom Thibodeau loves that man. And if he's knocking him down at... Thibodeau uh, is looking for excuses to play Deuce McBride. Yes. Yes, he absolutely is. Malachi Flynn was supposed to make his debut tonight. I'm not sure how he can. Is he the, active? He's active he's for the active, first okay. time. First time. The anchor casual says, dude should stop. <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. Eric Trump, what's up, my man? What up, Trump? Deuce going produce. Going produce. Shout to Douglas. As the Knicks ended that first quarter, 7 of 13, most in a first quarter this season. Seven threes from downtown. Knicks will start with the Rock. Ananobi is subbed in. It's Deuce, Ananobi, Grimes, Hart, and Precious Achua at the five. Deuce controlling. He's going to drive. Step back. Goes at Morris. Gets into the lane. Fall away two. He airballed it. Ananobi controls. He has to get it off. I'm not sure he did, but he made it. Ananobi knocked in the three as the shot clock went dry. Ananobi off the bounce. Oh, gee. 
Is that reviewable? I believe it is. So we're, I'm not sure if that went in. For now, it's holding true on the scoreboard. Pressure to Chua, guarding Maxi, and Maxi takes advantage of the easy work there. Not a Chua's strength is staying in front of guards like Maxi on the perimeter. That's not a lot of people's strengths in this league. Did he play in the last game? Uh, he's played in every game, but only a little bit. A lot of minutes for iHeart. Nick's moving it around. Ananobi's going to get downhill. Layup. He's fouled. Ananobi going to go to the line for two. Love the aggressive take in the mission to get to the cup on that one for OG. Shout out to Eric Drump with the $2 super chat. Anyone missing RJ? Yeah. We got to be, I've been told I need to be nice to RJ. By absolutely no one. Uh, um, as I think Ananobi missed the free throw. Not sure. I, do, I, I wish nothing but success for RJ Barrett. Nothing but success. Creed coming with a $2 super chat. Says do score in 101 in the <laughs> F will. I'm with you. As Ananobi, excuse me, makes the first, and he makes the second. That's butter. That's butter from OG at the line. So I'm guessing that that's going to count because they would have reviewed it there at the dead ball. So Ananobi with five straight points for our Knicks. And now we, here he is guarding Maxi on the other end. I mean, if he can guard guys like Maxi up to Cat, that's special. As that's going to be a drive, I think, for Springer. His baby Jay's off the mark, gets his own rebound, though, and then finishes around the 10. 39-34. Brunson will bring it up. It's Brunson, Achua, Mc, uh, Hart, Grimes, and OG. Deuce has sat down. Nick's moving it around. Grimes, dribble handoff to Ananobi. He's got the smaller Tyrese Maxey on him. I'd like to see him take him. He does. He gets an open look. Ananobi missed the 10-footer, but I like the process. Ball's loose. Grimes picks up. He should have shot it. He kicks it to Precious Achua for three. Good! Precious Achua from downtown. Bang! We got a stretch five, ladies and gentlemen. We got a stretch five. As Maxi drives, hangs, hits. Nice floater from Tyrese Maxi. Oh my God. Achua knocking down threes, Coop. Brunson. Yeah, he can do that. People don't know about that about his game. He can make the occasional three. Brunson drives, kicks to Grimes. He launches in and out. Grimes' three was halfway down, then it popped out. 9.30 to go. Maxi being defended by Grimes. Grimes pokes it away. Maxi's going to go after. Oh, I love that effort from Grimes. Grimes sped to the ball like it was going to stay in bounds. It did not, but I love the effort. We got 650 people watching. If you haven't yet, please hit that thumbs up icon and subscribe to the channel. Sub for Nick Stubbs. Sub for Nick Stubbs. Free, informative, entertaining, passion-driven content. Subscribe. It's been a fun game so far. This has been a really fun game. Maxi kicks it to Paul Reed. His foul line jumper. Good. That looks so broke. Reed is a better shooter than I initially thought of him as. He, he's added that to his game as of late. He has. Five on the floor for the Knicks is Grimes, Brunson, Hart, Ananobi, and Precious Achua. Brunson's got it. Left side. Kicks it to Hart. Hart to Grimes. Grimes one-on-one -on -one with Springer. I'd like to see Grimes take him. And he kicks it out to Brunson. Brunson's going to have to make it work. He'll take a step back three deep. Good! Jalen Brunson knocks it down over Marcus Morris. Nick's up seven. Maxi creating. Step back three over Achua. That's short. Ball's loose. Hard battling. It'll be off the Knicks, I believe. Ah. <sighs> The only thing when you go Precious at the five and OG at the four, you are a little small. Both those guys are 6'8". You're There's, a little small in height. You're not small in stature or strength, though. That's what I was going to say. You're small, but those dudes are so scrappy that it makes up for it. It does. And Paul Reed, I mean, the Knicks, uh, the Sixers aren't big right now either. Maxi's got that mismatch with Achua on him. Achua pokes it away. Three on the shot clock. Knicks need to D up. Springer launches from half off the rim. Paul Reed with the board. That's unacceptable by Quentin Grimes. Unacceptable effort by Quentin Grimes. Box out. Enough with the mellow front-facing box out where you just hold the guy. That shit doesn't work. Can't have it. Get a damn rebound is right, fat cat. I almost don't love a Chua selling out to go cl uh, close out there. I would have rather him been on the glass. Ubre. High pick and roll. Grimes trailing. Blocked by 
by Achua, and then it's going to be stolen by Ananobi. The Knicks defense is stepping up here. Brunson's going to push. It's a three-on-three. Three. Brunson goes at Maxi, hangs, hits, and one. Jalen Brunson. Let's go, Knicks. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Hey, hey, hey! Woo! That's big time shit from Jalen Brunson. He saw Coop that Tyrese Maxey was the only thing in between him and the cup, and he went at him. When Brunson decides he's going to the hole, there are not many players in the world that can stop him. As he converts the three point play, and the Knicks, who were down 10 in the first, are up 10 in the second. Maxey hands off to Ubre. Ubre pulls up for three. Good. That's a big time shot from Kelly Oubre, which was defended really well by Grimes at the release. Brunson's going to be guarded by Springer. Gets a screen from Ananobi and Precious. Now he's got the whole left side of the four. He'll pull up for three. Good! Jalen Brunson is on fire! Get the JBs in the chat! <laughs> Maxi drives at Ananobi. Good, tough finish from Maxi. Maxi, one of the most creative finishers, finishers around the rim in this league. He's got 16 points and five assists already. Him and Brunson going at it. Brunson gets a screen from Achua. He's got Springer on him again. Kicks it to Hart. Hart's guarded by Morris. Back to Brunson. Top of the key. Gets a screen from OG. Gets into the lane. Brunson, ball stripped. Run out. Layup coming for Philly. Oubre into the paint. He traveled. Travel! Knicks got back on D! Shout out to Josh Hart for the effort, and it forced the turnover. <laughs> Ubre tried like a step through, and he, it's like his toe drag behind him got caught, caused him to get off center, and it's a turnover. Uh, that's lucky for the Knicks because that should have been an easy run out layup for them. But the effort from Josh Hart to get back there alongside Quentin Grimes. Is why the Knicks were able to get a stop. Shout I, out to them. I love the effort I'm seeing from the Knicks on the defensive end right now. They are a, I hate it because uh, I have become a, uh, what's the thief of joy? Looking at other people's stuff. It's not even that's how I'm trying to say. It's like, I just wish Mitchell Robinson was here. Yeah. Like, if Mitchell Robinson got to play on a team with OG Ananobi and Josh Hart and Quentin Grimes and Deuce McBride, Pretty good defense. Mitch out for the year? I don't know. December 11th, he got hurt. They said eight to ten weeks. Then they applied for the season-long thing. Um, ha don't know if they've been confirmed or not, but December 11th in eight to ten weeks is not the entire season. That's, that's the end of February. You play basketball till hopefully June. While we are at a quick TV timeout, I got to tell you guys about our proud sponsor, Factor. Go to factormeals.com slash nickschat50. Use that promo code nickschat50. With the new year here, Let's all be a little bit more mature about our life. Let's take care of ourselves when it comes to health, and let's take care of ourselves when it comes to what we're putting into our body. And you could do that with Factor, with chef prepared, dietitian approved, fresh, never frozen meals, and they have different meal options that fit your different diet plans. If you want low carb, they've got that. If you want low calorie, they've got that. If you got high protein, they've got that. They've got breakfast, lunch, and dinner options. You get to pick your pre made meals which are prepped and cooked to perfection, and I take just two minutes to heat up. This new year, let's make a commitment to doing better uh, when it comes to eating healthy. You can do that with Factor. Factormeals.com slash NixChat50. If you use the promo code NixChat50, you'll get 50% off your first order. Check them out. Support the show. Support the sponsor. Let's go. Fat Cat says, Mitch Robb is one of my favorite players. Man, he is. He is. Same with me. <clears throat> Time to shotgun a beer. We did get to two hundred dollars in super chats, so shout out to you guys. Uh, Smitty did bring this back. Well, hey, once we get to two fifty, I'll do another. Let's go. We're at two hundred. Once we get to two fifty, I'll do another. The Kraken. The Kraken. Let's go, Knicks. Ow. Are you okay? Do you need a paper towel? Um, no, I need a trash can, though. <laughs> I'll go find a trash can. Gee, many crickets. 
That was brutal. That was brutal. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Usually I try to I try to thug it out and look cool for y'all. That shit sucked. Keep it right here. What? Holy shit. Jonathan Ryan says, you know those f cans are filled with water? Yeah, these cans that are unopened and say 5% alcohol, it's all water in here, Jonathan. It's all water in here. Dumbass. <clears throat> Excuse me. Brunson's going to drive into the lane, picks his dribble up, gets it to Ananobi in the corner. He's going to go at Ubre, spins, hangs, layup, no good, battling for his own board, and it's going to be rebounded by Philly. Coop, they figured it out. Ryan, uh, what's his name in the chat? Jonathan Ryan says, you know those cans are filled with water. Yeah, the ones that are, the ones that are sealed and say 5% alcohol in here. Totally with water, my man. Totally. As the Knicks turn it over on offense, Philly's out and running. Maxi has it, finds Ubre, who launches off the mark, rebound by Josh Hart. As Josh Hart, I think got, I'm not sure if he got fouled or what happened there. Nah, Jonathan Ryan, you can't call people out like that. We are New Yorkers. We're New Yorkers. You we talk stand shit. On business. We, we stand on business. We match energy. You come at me hostile, I'm coming at you hostile. As Brunson knocks it down from the corner, Nick's up 11. Maxie, hand off. To, you're still my guy, but as a New Yorker, you should understand where I'm coming from. As that's a missed shot from Embiid. Josh Hart's out and running. It's a three on three, but then they'll slow it up. Julius is checked into the game. He crosses up on Oubre, and then he gets the ball batted away, goes off Oubre. Nick's ball on the baseline, 15 to go. Ty Johnson, we stand on B's knees. Ten toes. Ten toes. We are the New York Knicks. As the Knicks will throw it in. It's Ananobi, Hart, Hartenstein, Brunson, and Randall in the game. This has pretty much been the closing lineup for the Knicks the last two games. That's what it should be. Hart has it in the corner versus Maxi. Kicks it to Hartenstein at the top of the key. Hartenstein looking to find someone cutting back door. Good D by Philly. He'll get into the lane, throw up a floater. Good. I like the ability for Hart to attack Hartenstein to attack. I mean, if they're going to sag off you, man, go throw that little push shot up from eight. Second time he's attacked and beat tonight and found success. Make him respect you. Love that. Love that, Coop. As that's going to be a three off the mark. Hart with a rebound. He's everywhere. He'll push. Knicks have numbers. Randall going to go at Tobias Harris. Spins. He's fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Love that from Julius Randall. If, if, correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like he's much more assertive in the last few weeks than he has been. Last year, Julius Randall shot north of eight threes per game. This year, he's shooting less than four threes per game. He's playing that bully ball we've always asked for. His uh, mindset is free throw line down, which, Coop, you know. There's not a lot of guys that can keep Julius from his spot when he wants to go downhill. No, if he's playing in the lower defensive box, man, there is, there's not many people in the NBA that are going to beat him. Let's go, Knicks. He struggled tonight, just one of seven, uh, but we've seen him have the ability to turn it around. And also, uh, I wouldn't say Randall's had a bad game. I understand he's missed some shots, but I feel like his energy's been good. I feel like he's moved the ball. Uh, I thought he forced two shots early in that first quarter. But outside of that, I thought he's played within the flow of the game. I haven't had a, a, a possession where I'm like, God, Randall needs to be better. Yeah. He just missed shots tonight, and that's okay. He's going to do that. We know he can get hot in a quarter and take over a game. He's done that a couple times as of late in that third quarter. As he makes the first and makes the second, Knicks are up 15. Coop, you got to close this quarter and keep it double digits. Got to close it strong for sure. Can't allow Philadelphia back in the game and give him hope. Maxi is going to control, and an OB guards him. Good screen from Embiid, and then he gets the pass from Maxi. Hartenstein's there. He'll just take the shot over him. He missed it, and it's going to be rebounded by the Knicks. Brunson pulled it down. He'll push up the left side. Tobias Harris is going to draw that assignment. Brunson brings it back out, and here comes Hartenstein. He'll drive left. He's got space. He yanks for three. Left it short. 
Brunson left it short. Rebound by Batum. Maxi going to look to change the pace here for Philly. Goes at the rack. He's fouled. Layup off the mark. But it'll go to the line for two. <coughs> We're $39 away from another be a shotgun. A.K.A. water shotgun, according to Ryan Jonathan. Oh, uh, that's good stuff. Oh, Johnny Ryan. I appreciate ain't no you. water play, boy. And say, <laughs> I love that term. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, first free throw, good for Philly. Uh, someone in the comments, Marsh, is clearly new to this channel because... Uh, WFN Remedy says, y'all love Randall too much. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever been accused of loving Randall too much, but I appreciate that. That means I'm doing a good job. You want half the people thinking you hate him, and you want half Absolutely. the people thinking you love him. So I think I'm doing a decent job. There's some guy also advocating for us to stop drinking. Um, I'm sorry. It's that's Friday night, brother. As Arnstein throws it down with the thunderous two-hand stuff. What a play by the Knicks. My bad, bro. I appreciate you looking out for me, but um, that's just how we do. This is how we do it. Oubre blocked, but it goes in. Hartenstein has been, as Larry Reyes says, love that white boy talking about Hartenstein. Um, who's a, is, he is half black. He is half black. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss what table he sits at later. <laughs> Randall gets into the lane. Pull up. Jumper, Randall off the mark, but Hart with the whole board in the cleanup. Knicks up once again by 15 as we got 3.30 to go. Remedy really is new to the channel because he says we don't know ball because we think Julius Randall's good. As that's going to be a reverse miss. Good D by Ananobi. Hart's out and running. Nice hesitation. Drop off to Hartenstein. The New York Knicks are cooking as they're up by... 17. 17. Let's go, Knicks! Let's go, Knicks! I think I missed the super chat from Ivan. Ivan Rosario! Let's go, Knicks! Best Knicks channel is right here. Everybody drop the IRs in the chat. Everybody give me an IR in the chat. Show Ivan some love. Ivan, I appreciate those kind words, my man. I appreciate you hanging out with us, and I appreciate all 840 people that are tuned in to Knicks now, right now. We stand on business, and it's because of people like Ivan. Shout out to him. As DG, my guy Daniel Garcia, says Ananobi has changed the identity of this team. He's not going to wow you with his offensive production, but Coop, when you watch this Knicks team, you just get a different feeling when he is on the, on the floor. Like I said, he's a Tom Thibodeau guy. He just fits the culture of the Knicks. He fits in like a glove. It is a seamless transition. He doesn't need to take time to integrate himself. He's a, he's a part of this team. At the end of the day, there's not many teams that top that's top two players are better. Whatever you, I want to say about Randall, whatever you want to say about him, we understand what he is. But right now, there's not many teams that have a better top two duo than the Knicks. They're at least top seven in that department, in my opinion. It's a great duo, man. I mean, Brunson obviously taking it to another level this year as well. I think Randall's playing the best basketball of his career. Yeah. And, and that's not – look, Julius Randall obviously has his flaws. There's a lot of things about his game that I don't like. But you can't say he hasn't been playing good ball this year. No, you can't. And, and uh, people are like, bro, you got to – people are, of course, the losers on Twitter. Everybody owes Julius Randall an apology. Apology for what? He's done this before. He's, he, this will be his third time making the All Let's NBA see what team. What happens in April? Exactly. Third time making All NBA. Third time making an All Star. Just like my man Coop said. Let's see what happens when the weather gets a little different. Let's see when it. Let's see what happens in Jan in, in April, in May, maybe June. When the rats start coming out of the sewers in NYC, let's see what happens. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, hey, Randall. Put. If I, I've said this a lot, if regular season Randall. Were to ever show up in the playoffs, there's not a lot of teams in the East that want to play the Knicks. He's got to do it, though. He's got to do that. As Heaney says, the team is so in sync. The chemistry is so fire. The chemistry has been great. 
through two and a half court, two and a half games, the New York Knicks look like a different ball club. As Jalen um, Brunson would say, the vibes are immaculate. The vibes are immaculate right now for our New York Knicks. They got to keep it going. It's it's the mid. It's not even the midway point of two games. Keep it going. Keep playing good ball. Keep playing with that New York physicality and toughness and energy and passion and heart that we love. And let's let's continue to let this thing work, as the Knicks still can get so much better. What up, Duncan? What up, everybody? Rodney Green, what's up, everybody in the building? We got over 900 people watching. If you haven't yet, please hit that thumbs up icon. 900 people watching, only 270 likes. Those are rookie numbers. Those are rookie numbers. As Philly will control. Ananobi playing great deny defense on Max. He comes off numerous screens and he stayed in his pocket as Embiid gets a straight line drive and lays it up from point blank range. Why is Embiid laying the basketball up? You saying he should have dunked it or dunked like, the basketball? Uh, He's the biggest man in the NBA. <laughs> All righty, fifteen point game. Close this half. Close this half. Less than two minutes to go. It's Brunson, Hartenstein, Randall, Divincenzo, and Ananobi. The starting five is in the game for our blue and orange. Brunson guarded by Batum. Snatch back. Crossover. Drive. Gets by him. High floater. Good. <laughs> what a series of moves from Jalen Brunson. As he kissed it off the ceiling at the Wells Fargo as Fargo Center and dropped it for two. 19 in the first half for Brunson. He is cooking. Maxi controls. He's going to be one on one with Hartenstein. Gets Embiid now one on one versus Ananobi. I actually like this matchup. Ananobi plays great D and forces a tough shot and a miss. Ananobi. Showing what he can do as a versatile defender. Now he's going to push the break. Drives it and beat and he's blocked. He got blocked. Not. <sighs> love the take. I love the take. As Batum in the corner. Pump fake. Resets. Throws up a dumb pass. Stolen by the Knicks. They can push if they want to. Randall can go all the way. He goes at Harris. Drives through. Kicks. Chenzo. Corner. Three. Yes. Knicks up 20 on the Sixers. Let's go Knicks. Woo! Randall threw that one to the bench. Steven Chenzo saved it, caught it, and swacked it. Maxi, two-man game with a bead in an OB. Got his hand in there. Good D. Better O. That's the MVP for a reason. Back to a 17-point game. 80 seconds to go. Let's get a bucket and let's get a stop and let's go to half. Brunson has it left side. He's one-on-one -on -one versus Kelly Oubre. Less than 10 on the shot clock. Here comes the screen from DiVincenzo. Now he's got Tyrese Maxey on him. Brunson wants this matchup. Bumps him. Steps back. Good! Too easy. Jalen Brunson, 12 feet from the cup off the right baseline. Knocks it down as Tyrese Maxey is too little. Now Maxey drives at Hartenstein. Good, good defense from the Knicks. Oh, now they give him the trapped. baseline lane. Maxey's fouled. Layup no good. He'll go to the line for two. They had him trapped in the corner if, Hart, if Hartenstein commits to that. I thought so too. I would have liked to see them go more emphatically at that double. I mean, Brunson sees Maxey on him, gives him a shoulder. Maxey drops back. Brunson has enough space, rises, knocks down. Any day of the week, he's taking that. You reach, I teach. <laughs> Love that saying. And we've got a $20 super chat from Eric Drums. <laughs> 220. Close enough. Let's go, Knicks. Knicks greater than the 70 shitters. Stone Dante's Inferno. Let's fucking go, Knicks. Eric Trump, my man, my man, my man. We appreciate everybody in here. Already over 6,300 people have tuned in tonight. We've got 900 people rocking with us at the moment. Shout out to you guys. Hit that thumbs up icon if you haven't. And subscribe for more entertaining, informative, passion-driven content on your New York Knicks every day for free. Maxi goes two for two for the line. All righty, 40 seconds to go. Go two for one here. Brunson will control. Here comes a double. He's going to kick it to Ananobi in the corner, who rips through, drives baseline, goes into beat. He's fouled. Ananobi will get two from the stripe. Love the aggressive take there, Coop, from OG. Good take. Brunson drew a double team. They kick it to OG in the corner, and he gets right around Oubre. Aggressive take on Joel Embiid as well. Draws the foul. Love. I feel like this is the most aggressive we've seen Ananobi looking for his own shot since he's put on the orange and blue. 
And I am someone who could appreciate that because this Knicks team needs him to be that 15, 16, 17, 18 point per game guy that he's been throughout his career. And then D Music, let's go Knicks! Marsh and Coop, were you both born in New York? I was born in New York, raised in Houston, Texas. Now I live in Dallas, Texas. I was born in Dallas, Texas, raised in Dallas, Texas. I am a Mavericks fan, but I watch the Knicks, and I root for the Knicks because of Marshall Green. Your pops one time was a Knicks fan. My pops was a Knicks fan. He was born in Manhattan, grew up a Knicks fan until he moved to Dallas. That's right. Embiid up top. He's going to go at in and OB. Missed the dunk, and of course they called a foul. Uh, of course a little bit of a bailout. A a little bit of a bailout. Uh, I don't love that they call that on Ananobi, and he picks up a little cheapy right there. Um, but that just, that's just the way that shit works sometimes. We got 31 seconds to go in the half as the Knicks are up by 19, I think. I'm not good at math, as you guys can probably tell. I believe it's 19. Yeah, that's 19. And B, at the line. First one. Good. 18 now. 18 now. Just take take the whole shot clock, and I probably don't shoot till that shot clock hits one here. Just oh, so, yeah. you, just so you can limit clock, limit sure. their offensive, uh, the quality of their offensive possession. If you get a good shot, you get a good shot. Yeah, no, yeah. Good shot comes, take it. You don't pass up good shots. Zabin misses a second, and Randall controls the board. 25 seconds at the quarter, about a seven-second shot clock, game clock difference. Randall's guarded by Batum, and he's going to pressure him at the... At, oh, Randall draws the foul. He'll go to the line for two. I love that. All Thank right. you, Batum. Thank you, Batum. Tony says, any duck races tonight? No duck race tonight, Tony. Uh, we need to bring it back. We need to bring it back. We will. Um, but not tonight. Not tonight, unfortunately. Evan Penn says, Marshall, do me a solid and get over to Jerry's Dome and take a piss on it. <laughs> I'm with that. I'm with that. Brian says, what about the live dolphin? We actually don't have the live dolphin in studio today. No live dolphin in studio. As Randall made the first free throw, as it's seven, did they take a point away from the Sixers? As it's 74-55, and now they'll call it 75-55, 20-point game with less than 20 to go. Nick's got to play some defense here. You get a stop here. You go to the half up 20. Um, that'd be huge. I know 17 would still be huge, but you don't want to give up a three. Maxi gets a screen from Embiid. He'll now catch the foul line. Good help side D by Randall. Randall's going to push him left. Tough shot for Embiid off the mark. And the Knicks will close the first half up by 20. Let's go, Knicks. Xfinity. Ex Zin, Zin, Zin Midi. God damn, I can't read. Zin Midi says, let's go, Knicks. We are cooking. Yes, sir. This, that may be the best half of hoops we've watched this year as Knicks fans. 75 points in the first half against the 76ers? I would say so. It doesn't get much better than that. Let's go Knicks. Josh Hart with the most Josh Hart. Can you fill this up for me? Thanks, Brody. Nah, we're good here. Josh Hart with the most Josh Hart stat line of all time. Six points. Eight rebounds, five assists, a plus 24. Jalen Brunson, his Villanova teammate, 21 points in the first quarter. Philly does not have an answer for Brunson. They tried to muck it up by having Nick Batum pick him up full court. And then Brunson got hot, and there was no stopping him. Let's ride, let's ride, let's ride. We are currently up to $238 in Super Chats. Once we get to $250, i will do a beer shotgun, so we're 12 away. Every $50 tonight, we're doing a beer shotgun. It's Friday night, Knicks. Let's have some fun. As my guy Timothy B comes with a $5 Super Chat. Timothy, salute to you, my man. It says, let's go, Knicks. OG trade huge. I mean, you talk about OG says, Marsh, can you check to see if my super chat came through? Absolutely, OG. Um, I do not see one from you, my man. I do not. 
Do you know how long? Um, I just went all the one through all the ones we got tonight, OG, and we do not have one. We do not have one. So hopefully YouTube didn't do any weird shit. I, usually they don't, um, but it, it did not come through to our side. Did not come through to our side. Um, Timothy, Coop just ran to the restroom. He'll, uh, he'll pop that super chat in a, up in a second. Uh, my, my man, my man, Dan, Dan, the man, what's <laughs> my man, Dan, AKA Dan, the man, what up, Dan, the man says he going to any games this year in New York. I want to, I'm looking, I'm going to be looking at February as the month where I would do it. So relatively soon, um, once I find a game, I will let everybody know that we're going to be doing a New York Knicks now meetup in the garden. Don't know what game yet. Don't know what game yet, but we will do that in February or March before NFL free agency. One of those two times. That's what we're looking at. That's what we're looking at. Ah, let's go. B-Man. Tamar Bowles in the building. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Shout out to my man, Timothy B. Sending that $5 super chat. Uh, me and my Knicks says, uh, are people still complaining about the trade? The only people that were complaining about the trade were just R.J. Barrett fans. Not fans of the Knicks, but just a lot of people were complaining about the trade. That's right, shout out to Timothy. OG's trade, huge. It is. Houston versus Knicks. In Houston, I may drive down to Houston for that one. It's only about a three-hour, 3.30 drive from Dallas. Um, I wouldn't mind. Hey, if I go to that game, Larry, I'll let you know. When's that game? It says February 12th in Houston. Okay. So maybe. But I do want to go to a game at the Garden this year as well. I can't wait for next Thursday. As OG. OG. Shot to a man. OG. Says, let's go, Knicks. OG, thanks for supporting the channel, my man. That's my guy. We're not even in our final form, and we're looking more competitive than before. Solid trade. Coop, Julius Randle's one of eight from the field today. Yep. And you're up 20. <laughs> That's wild to even say out loud. Is that the best first half of the Knicks this season so far, given the circumstances? I don't know how it can get better. I don't think we've had many 20-point leads, especially against a team that a lot of people, including Stephen A. Smith, tell me that we can't beat. We just what came into their man. we just came into their arena and we just beat their ass for the first half. Stephen only the a. first half. It's only the first half. A lot of things can change. Stephen A calls himself a Knicks fan. Stephen A is not a Knicks fan. He is he is the face of Knicks fans, but he's not a Knicks fan. As I'm so glad he's not in the studio tonight. Who we have? We have uh Shanae, we have Malika, Wendy, and Big Perk. Perk is a Knicks guy. Dude, I love Kendrick Perkins. I think he's the best he's the best ESPN NBA analyst they have. I'm not uh, even joking. <laughs> he had the Knicks duo as the fifth best in the league above Luke and Kyrie. Is that fair? I don't think so. Uh, Luke and Kyrie haven't played enough games. How many games has Kyrie missed this year? I uh, missed a lot. This is like his third he's back, game back. Though, right? He is back. That game just started. I'll pull it up on the computer here. Terrence what Myers, what's up, gang? What's up, gang? We just crossed over $250 in super chats. We're up to $258. Every $50 tonight, every $50 tonight, we're doing beer shotguns. Let's ride. Shout out to OG who got us to $250. let us go. Friday night, Knicks. Larry Reyes with the $2 first time super chatter. He says, first round on me. Rock your Knicks gear. Larry. If I'm going to a Knicks game, I'm rocking my Knicks gear. That's right. First round on you, deal. Second and third round on me, Larry. Second and third round on me. Deal? Deal? Shout out to Larry. <sighs> Another first time super chat. As truth in chaos. First time super chatters. Appreciate you guys tuning in. And thank you for supporting, man. That really means a lot. It says 33 points for Brunson and McBride in the first quarter. <laughs> they went off, man. I mean, McBride had four threes. Did he even play in the second quarter? Maybe the first minute. Um, <clears throat> he was sensational, and Brunson 
If some of you guys know I'm a Dallas Mavericks fan. It hurts me every single time I see Brunson on the court wearing a different uniform. We'll probably feel that same way with Quickly for a long time. <laughs> not to that level. I mean, Brunson. He's not going to be Brunson, but he will be a team's starting point guard for 10 years. At Brunson's peak, he's going to be a top 10 player in the NBA, dude. <laughs> I think he is. That, that, that guy's unbelievable. God, I freaking love Jalen Brunson. How can you not? How can you not? I fucking love that I guy. I hate Rick Brunson, though. That's <laughs> that guy. He's a... Yeah. Truth and chaos. Appreciate you, my man. And then Shipmaster Kyle, my man. What's up, bro? Kyle, you're not a first-time super chatter. No, nah, that's an OG. OG. Let's go, Knicks. Let's make it happen. Sub for Knicks. You Cubs. heard the man. You heard the man. We got over 800 people watching. We're less than 250 subscribers away from 32,000. Hit that subscribe button. I know that there's at least... 10 people watching that are not subscribed. Hit that sub button. Once we get to 31,800, which we're 29, 39 away from, 30, 39, 39 away from, we'll do a shot of tequila. Once we get to 31,800, we're doing a shot of tequila. We're going to the Patron Zone. Let's ride, let's ride, let's ride. Coop, what do the Knicks have to do to close this game out here in the second half? Keep giving it to your hot hands. I think that's first and foremost. And you have to keep up the pressure. The Knicks are playing such good, intense, controlled basketball right now. You have to keep that up. You can't let the Philly crowd get to you. You got to come out firing in that second half. Come out just as aggressive as you did. Yeah, I think the first five minutes of this third quarter is going to be critical. Huge. You cannot let them knock down three threes and it's an 11-point game. Um Dylan, my man in the chat, Dylan Buzzgold says no turnovers. That's key. Agreed. I mean, at this point, it's just about doing the little things, right? Don't get into foul trouble. Take care of the ball and continue to play good team off ball on offense and play good team D on defense. Sounds cliche, but it's exactly what the Knicks need what to do is. to win this game. Uh, don't be afraid to slow it down a little bit, but don't also – don't take your foot off that gas, no. man. 20 points in the NBA is not what it used to be. Uh, I mean, four threes, and it's, and it's an eight-point game. Um, and when you got Embiid and we got Maxi, who can light up the scoreboard in a matter of seconds, you're going to have to come out. I think the first five minutes of this third quarter will tell the it's, story of the game. It's funny you say that. The NBA isn't what it used to be. I was literally just thinking that. I have the Mavs game on my other screen. It's 19 to 15, five minutes into the game. <laughs> what happened to the NBA? Not many teams play defense anymore. Or maybe these guys are just too skilled. I, mean, it's a I, think, both. That, I, th I think it's a little bit of both. I think they're too skilled, and I think... The rules of the game are so skewed towards the offensive end that Absolutely. it's very hard to play defense. Absolutely. Uh, my man D. Mouth said it says we should trade for Kaminga. He wants to get traded is a good idea. I don't think Kaminga makes a lot of sense here. I think it's a little bit redundant. You already got Ananobi. You already got Hart. And while Kaminga may be better than Josh Hart, you already got your guy off the bench. Kaminga wants to go somewhere he can start. I don't think he wants to be another piece in a rotation of a team that's trying to compete for a championship. Agreed. Peace and love is God. Thank you for the super chat, my man. Uh, says, this is what I expect. Good D in run and gun. I know it's the most cliche saying in all of basketball, but good defense turns into easy offense. No the doubt. Knicks have had a couple of easy runouts. And when you're an offense like the Knicks that, let's be honest with ourselves, lack a little of creativity at times with Tom Thibodeau, and you can get 10, 15 fast break points, easy run out layups, pull up transition threes, that's going to go a long way. That's going to go a long way. And I love the way this team has played the last three games. Peace and love is God. Thank you to you, my man. Happy Friday. Tony, sub for Knicks dubs. The Knicks disrespect will continue. But anyone who says the Knicks can't beat teams like the Sixers, Stephen A, don't know ball. Stephen A, DK, DKB. DKB. DKB for Stephen A. He don't know ball. Percival. Percival Glasgow, what's up, man? That's a name I haven't seen in a while. Good to see you, and thank you for being here. Marsh, Maxie's game reminds me of Quickly. I think it's Quickly reminds you of Maxie. Um, but no, I mean, look, they are very similar. They are very similar. I think Maxie is a tier above Quickly. But look, I am going to Miss Emmanuel Quickly. But you can't, you can't keep watching your ex-girlfriend's Instagram story and... And their Snapchat. Have a burner. Yeah, I guess you gotta have a burner so they don't know. 
That shit's fucking mentally yeah. unstable. Shout um, out uh, <laughs> if you're watching. <laughs> yeah, if, oh, I'm sure. Okay. I'm sure. Um, I don't want to think... I, I, as, as disrespectful as this may sound, I don't mean it to come off that way. I'm not really worried about Quickly and RJ anymore. I wish them the best. I hope them the best. I watched some Raptors games. I love those guys. I appreciate them for what they did. I love that they were our kids at one point. But they're no longer New York Knicks. This is what's most important. Um, who's my favorite player? It's who's ever my guy on the Knicks. It's not anyone else. I love Quickly. I love uh, loved RJ. Um, I want them to be great. I'm just not really. I'm focused on our basketball team. Focus on our best. But I'm not saying you are. Uh, just kind of went on a little bit of a tangent there. Went on a little bit of a tangent. All right. Long halftime here at ESPN. Seth Curry just got fouled right here, and they didn't call it. BX Bang and the ex-girlfriend, the ex-wife. You can't be watching the stories every day. You'll send yourself crazy thoughts. That'll make you go wild. It'll make you go crazy. Let me go crazy. Do what's best. Block it out. Block it out and focus on what you got. Focus on what you got. King Joss says, Marsh didn't love RJ. I did. I did love RJ at one point. Summer of 2022, I said I would not trade RJ Barrett for Donovan Mitchell. And I regret saying it every show I ever did. Uh, but at one point, I did love RJ Barrett. But it can't be a one-way street the whole time. Yeah, I got to get some back. Things evolve, man. I didn't get any return on investment with our RJ Barrett. Yeah. When it comes to personal yeah. investments. Personal investments. The Knicks paid him, and he did not repay the Knicks. No. Nope. Onyx says, honestly, if Brunson wins a chip in New York, he'll basically be the Jeter cat. If, if Jalen Brunson won a championship for the Knicks, his number would be retired, and he would have a statue outside Madison Square Garden. If he wins a title? Yes. Oh, 100%. They may replace the statue of... The Statue of Liberty would probably be wearing a Brunson He'll be jersey. the last number 11 to ever wear it for the New York Knicks. <laughs> he might be, even if he doesn't win one. Lord Buddy Bear. Nick Davidoff says, Brunson played well, but zero assists. That's fine. That's fine. I... I, 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 I Nick DeVito, I love you so much, and it hurts me that you don't love Jalen Brunson anymore. What did he, why, why did we do this to ourselves? Brunson is driving a wedge in between our relationships, Nick DeVito. Brunson's a score first guard. He had 26 assists the last two games. Now there's people on the Sixers that can't guard him. Go get buckets. And as a guy that took the more on his assists, I am a little bit upset. <laughs> but... Um, I'm not going to complain 21 points on 8 of 12. Former Nick Tim Hardaway Jr. just took a random three with 20 seconds in the shot clock from 30 feet. I will never forget where I was, what I was doing, and how I felt when the Knicks re-signed him back and they overpaid the hell out of him. I was upset. Yeah. They, they traded him to the Hawks, and then he became a free agent like a year and a half later, and they brought him back for like four years, $80 million. It was a joke. He's been a good Maverick. He is a scorer. That's what he, what he is. That is all he does. He cannot pass. He cannot defend. He used to be a guy that can get out and run in transition, but that... When the athletic. ball touches his fingers, it does not go anywhere else. But up. <laughs> sometimes it's great. Sometimes it ain't. He can get hot. He can oh, get yeah. hot. Atlanta's getting smacked. Maybe Murray has had enough. Hey, there was a report that came out today from Jake Fisher of Yahoo who says the Hawks are open to trading everybody on their roster outside of Trey Young and Jalen Johnson. Yeah, good thing they gave the Spurs three first round picks for DeJounte. That worked out. We'll give you two, we'll give you three protected. Would you? I wouldn't. Those, those picks aren't that good. You'll the give Wizards, them the Mavs pick? You no. won't give them the Mavs pick. Wizards, Pistons, and Bucks. So two, those might be second round picks. Maybe it, I'd rather give up three protected than one unprotected. I don't know if I don't know if that's how everyone should think, but that's how I think because unprotected picks are what get you superstars. All righty, here we go. Knicks leading scores. Brunson's got twenty one. McBride twelve, and Divincenzo eleven. DiVincenzo and McBride are 7 of 7 from downtown combined. The big ragu. All right. Second half underway. These first five minutes will be critical. Starting five for the Knicks as the Knicks come out and turn it over first possession. Oh, no. Luckily, it stays with the Knicks. Randall threw a reckless pass to Hardenstein. It was batted away by Philly. 
Of course, the starting five will be Brunson, DiVincenzo, Randall, Hartenstein, and Ananobi. Start these first five minutes strong. Hartenstein, handoff, Brunson, pull up, jumper, good! That's how you come out after the half. And you continue the onslaught. 22-point game. Maxie's going to get it to Batum, who's guarded by Brunson. They throw it in. Ball's loose. Stolen by the Knicks. It's a four-on-one. Randall's leading the break. Kicks it to DiVincenzo, oh and he threw it to Ananobi, who wasn't looking. DiVincenzo should have fired that. Ananobi just wasn't looking for the pass. Sloppy play by the Knicks. He says, I, I was giving it to you for to just lay it up. Frank Serrano in the building. Oh, what up, Frank? Oh. <laughs> Shout out to Frank Serrano. That's a legend. Frank, you're a real one. Maxi Embiid, pick and roll. Maxi throws it out to Embiid. Back to Embiid. Uh, excuse me, Maxi one-on-one versus Hartenstein. His three, good. What up? Saw, dude. What up? Brunson handling up top. Dribble handoff to Ananobi, who gets it to Randall. Back to Brunson. Brunson's going to drive left, gets it to DiVincenzo, who finds the cutting Randall. Randall going at Tobias Harris. He's fouled. Randall going to go to the line for two. As Terrence Myers. Bang! Says, great job calling the games, Marsh, especially in frustrating moments earlier this season. Terrence Myers, thank you for tuning in and giving me a chance at supporting this channel. You do every day, and it means a lot to me. Terrence, we're linking up at the Mavs game next week. And uh, I'm, I, I may have to call you an Uber on the way home because that's how I'm trying to get. That's how we're trying to get. Let's ride. Randall makes his first free throw. Lead back up to 20. And then Johnson you with a $5 super chat. I used to pray for times like this. We've come so far from Langston Galloway, Alexi Shved, Andrea Bargnani, Lou Amundsen, and Lance Thomas. Whew. I used to pray for times when like When you this. talk about dog days in the NBA, that was the dog days for the Knicks. Even though I, I got a lot of respect for Langston Galloway. That guy's kind of a hooper. Um, I think he still hoops on still the USA th USA three-on-three -three team. He might was actually he still be in the league. He might be in the league. I don't think so, though. As Embiid goes at Hartenstein, his layup's off the mark, but he gets his own miss and he cleans it up. He's playing over in Italy. He's playing in Italy. You can make yourself some money over there, man. Hell Nothing yeah. wrong with that. Brunson up top, guarded by Batum. Game a little pressure in the first quarter. As he gets in the lane, layup up. He's fouled. Brunson will go to the line for two. Yeah, T. Myers. I, I, I got respect for, for Langston. Langston. Galloway. You know a former Knicks Hooper who I've always liked? Alec Burks. Alec Burks. I liked him, but I didn't like when he played point guard over quickly. Yeah, that was dumb. That was. <laughs> I mean, dumb. it was our starting point guard with quickly coming off the bench. Um, look, I have thought about little boy on Bogdanovich and Alec Burks coming to the Knicks. I don't hate that. But if Deuce is going to come out here and not miss from deep, you, you got to play him. Obviously, that's going to be hard to continue. But, I mean, I wouldn't mind a little veteran infusion with Burks and Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich is a hooper. Kyle... Says, Marsh, I have to say, you are great at play calling. One of the best I have heard. Kyle, down, shout out to you, my man. That means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Mix up by 21 after two free throws are good. Oubre is going to catch it. He'll launch it from the right corner. It's going to be out of bounds. Nick's ball going the other way. Let's go, Knicks. Brunson will dribble it up for our orange and blue squad. Brunson met by a double, kicks it to Randall. Randall's going to take a step back, pulls up. Now he's going to get to Ananobi. They run a little pick and roll. Ananobi with a drop off to Hartenstein, now post up to Randall. Randall's going to be doubled. He'll take a fall away two off the back iron. Hartenstein bats it out, but Batum controls. Philly will look to push. Tobias fills middle. They swing it around. Ubre corner three, good. Nice offensive possession from Philadelphia. Brunson will bring it up the right side. I like to see them initiate their offense a little sooner in the shot clock because there's 10 to go and Hartenstein's at the logo. Now they'll get it to Randall. Randall's going to go one-on-one -on -one versus Harris. Five on the shot clock. Kicks it to DiVincenzo in the corner. He'll launch. Good look. Off the mark, no good. And it's rebounded once again by Philly. Still an 18-point game. Nine minutes to go in the third. Maxi drives. He's fouled. 
Shot up, no good. He'll go to the line for a pair. We're up to uh, 870 people watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to 32,000 subs tonight. We need your help. Sub for Nick Stubbs as the Sixers are trying to play catch up. Maxi, first free throw. Good. It is the NBA, so you know at some point the Sixers are going to make a push. There it's a matter a of how the Knicks respond to that push. Agreed. There will be a run made by Philly at some point. Can the Knicks weather the storm and then take the lead once they make their run by even more? Maxi misses the second. 81-64, nine minutes to go. Still the starters in the game for the Knicks. Like to see Brunson be a little more aggressive here. He's got Oubre on him. Got to get a high screen from Hartenstein. Gets it to Randall. Randall knifes. Gets it to OG. OG now moving it around. And he dribble hands off to Brunson. Brunson has Oubre on him. Step back. Three blocked. Good defense by Kelly Oubre. Max, he's out and running. He'll take a transition three. Off the mark. Ball's loose. Rebound by Randall. Randall going to bring it up the left side. He's going to go at him. Bead kicks it to Chenzo. He'll launch from three. Good! Dante DiVincenzo knocks it down. Knicks back up by 20. 84-64. Come on, Knicks. And Bead's going to go at Hartenstein. Layup. Good. That's just a hard dude to keep from getting to the rack. 84-66 now. Hartenstein up to DiVincenzo. Back to Hartenstein. His dotted line floater. Good. That's a big time bucket and a go to move now for Hartenstein. Lead back to 20. And B is going to try to go get his. Gets into the lane and it's going to be ripped away by Hartenstein. And they're going to call a foul. Hartenstein got all ball and he ripped it from Embiid, but the official is going to call a foul. I'm not sure why, because that was not a foul. Hartenstein got all ball. I mean, how the fuck is that a foul? You got to challenge this if you're Tom Thibodeau. Put some respect on Hartenstein's name and challenge that, Tibbs, because that is a guy that's making a play on the MVP, and it was all rock. Tibbs is not going to challenge. I would like for you to challenge just so you show your player you believe in him. As in B, makes the first free throw. That's all ball. I mean, that was all ball. Look at this. It simply wasn't a foul. That's all ball. Of course, Joel Embiid getting the call. Foul merchant. Need the views from Philadelphia. He made the first. He missed the second. BDL. You know why he missed the second? BDL. Ball don't lie. BDL's in the chat. Randall has it. Right side. He's guarded by Maxi. Now he's doubled. Swings it to DiVincenzo. He'll pump fake. Reset. And now he's going to go one-on-one -on -one versus Zubre. Nope. Back to Randall. Randall's now guarded by Maxi. Randall drives baseline. Takes on the contact. Randall. They called go the offense. Offensive foul on Randall. So we give Embiid a bailout on the other end. And then we call Randall for some ticky-tack BS on the other end. I know ESPN paid a lot of money to the NBA for these to be games on ESPN. But we don't have to cheat so it's a tight game. Let's just play ball. Let's call it fair both ways because Tyrese Maxey just flopped. Now Embiid will look to go at Hartenstein. He'll pull up. Baby jumper. Good. 17-point game. Seven minutes to go in the third. Embiid's up to 23 points. Randall's going to drive. Kicks to Brunson. Finds it open. Chenzo off the mark. Gets his own rebound, though. Follows his shot. Gets it to Ananobi. Drive. Layup. Good. Strong take and finish from OG Ananobi. He took a bigger bump than Embiid did and didn't get the foul call. Let's go. Embiid pushes off Hartenstein. And then he's going to go at him, and he throws it down. I hate that guy, dude. Can't stand him. Embiid gets every call in this league. He doesn't know what it's like. Is Hartenstein limping here? No, he's fine. All right, he looks okay. 17-point game, 6.30 to go. Brunson handoff to DiVincenzo. Nick's moving around the perimeter. Randall now dribble handoff to Ananobi. Ananobi pressured by Batum. He is going to drive. I love that. Gives it to Hartenstein at the foul line. Hartenstein looking, trying to find someone. He does. Ananobi. He's got five on the shot clock. Blows by Batum. Drives, kicks, three from Brunson. 
No good. Turnover. Shot clock violation. A little stagnant. A little stagnant. Knicks, I think, are getting a little complacent. Not being as aggressive as they were. So Embiid on that play actually stepped on Hartenstein's foot, which caused him to fall. And then Hartenstein walked around gingerly on that foot. Hopefully the ankle's going to be ready to go uh, the rest of this game. And hopefully for the remainder of the season because the Knicks' backup centers are questionable. Just a quick NBA trade update from Sham Sharania of The Athletic. He earlier reported the Sacramento Kings were a serious suitor for Pascal Siakam. That is no longer the case, and the Kings are not in talks with the Raptors. What do you think that package would have been? Probably Keegan, Harrison Keegan Barnes? Murray. Yeah, what? Barnes and Murray? I don't know if I'm trading Murray for Siakam. Are you? I'm not. But I wonder if that's what the Raptors were looking for. Because Murray would make some sense for the Raptors. Kind of a stretch four. Exactly. To play alongside Podal, Pertl, whatever you want to call I also him. think it's weird that the Kings are trying to get rid of Barnes. Yeah, he's kind of their vet. He's kind their, their vet. vet. And aren't still, still aren't the Kings hooper. right in the mix? What? Aren't the Kings right in the mix? They're fifth oh, in the well last. Oh, said someone else is now in the mix. Um, yeah, I mean, dude, De'Aaron Fox... Pascal Siakam and Sabonis could be pretty good if you can hold on to Monk. As FGC Hitman says, I appreciate your passion and your work ethic. Let's go, Knicks. FGC, I appreciate you for tuning in. I appreciate you giving us a shot. And I appreciate you rocking and rolling with us here on Knicks Now by Chat Sports. Let's go. Thank you for supporting us, man. We're $9 away from another beer shotgun. Would be a real shame if we had to do another beer shotgun. It would be a horrible idea. If we got to three hundred dollars in super chats and nine dollars away and did a beer shotgun, horrible idea. <laughs> Whoa, horrible, horrible, horrible. Fat Cat says we should be at six hundred likes. I agree. I mean, we got nine hundred fifty people watching and only three hundred fifty-seven likes. If we get to four hundred likes in the next minute, I'm doing a shot of tequila. We got to get to four hundred likes in the next minute. Shot clock has started. We're 40 likes away. 40 likes away. If we don't get there, we're just going to shut the stream down. If we don't get there, we're just going to shut the stream down. Um, the engagement on the like button just hasn't been strong enough. Coop, we've had 9,200 people tune in and only 378 likes. That's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. It pisses me off and it makes me not want to do this. So hit the like button or we're going to leave. I don't want to make this that type of relationship. But like... Uh, this is my job. This is how I put, put food on the family for my table. This is how I keep a roof over my, my house, as well as Patrick Seatman's house. And, and Nick Roloff. And Nick Roloff. They all live at my house. And if you guys don't hit the like button, as much as I would They're like to see... They're going to be homeless. As much as I'd like to see the Heat fan Nick Roloff be homeless, um, I, I would feel bad about that. So please hit the like button, because we've got 960 people watching... And less than 400 likes. Mikey Black did say F Rolly, though. FGC, your super chat did come through, and we talked about it. It's up on screen right now, my brother. There it is, brother. Here it is. Shout out to you. As we are back to hoops, and we did get to 450 likes. Shout out to you guys. I got a shot at tequila. How about we get to 500? Like, I don't, I don't want to do the threat things. I don't want to do the threat things. I am Jules. I'm putting food on the family for my table. Did I say that? You did say that. <laughs> food on I the was going to let it slide. Food on the table for my food on the family for my table. That's what you said. Yeah, no, no, no. That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> I think tequila works. So we're going to keep doing it. Um, shout Ch to you guys. Chenzo we're came out of the game. I think it's Hart that came in for him. <laughs> as Harris misses the second but they call a lane via no a foul on Bev good F Pat Bev and his podcast brightest future says hydrate you're right let me get some water all right 88 71 here six minutes to go six minutes to go
Brunson has it up top. Gets screen from Hardenstein. Gets it in the lane. Kicks. And an OB. Pump fake. Drive. Kicks. Randall. Corner. In and out. Rebound by MB. We'll like see an OB go there. And then it's going to be a Randall foul in the backcourt. Need Randall to start making some shots here. I would like to see Coop Ananobi when he drives and has an open look from the foul line go. Yeah, be a little more aggressive again. That's going to that's gonna be part of the learning curve. But, like... As, An as Embiid turns it over. That's an over and back. Embiid and Maxi fumble the kind of handoff there. It's Nick's ball. What up, El Cid? All I'm saying is when Jake Chipper came in here to talk shit is when the Knicks went on their run. Agreed. Is he back? I don't know if he is or not. He's probably watching in silence. Frank Serrano says it'd be bad if Marshall and Patrick were homeless, but it would be funny to laugh at Roly. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> Randall takes a three. Not even close. And now it's a run out for Tobias Harris. Who they're going to call off his leg. Knicks ball. Great D on the other end. I couldn't tell who popped that out for the Knicks. But good defense. Brunson spins by Beverly. Hangs. Layup. Missed. Brunson wants the foul. Did not get it. It's a four on two. Harris kicks. It's going to be an open three. Great Awful. recovery defense by the Knicks. And then they call a foul on Randall on the catch on Embiid. Jesus Christ. Take Embiid's meat out of your mouth, NBA refs. Ram Randall's having a bad game. He's I was giving good. him some love earlier. He's having a bad game. Is this really a foul, though? Yeah. And beat is such a fucking flopper. That was a foul. As RSN. RSN sends in a $5 cash app. He says... Four four dollars to go, Max Payne Media. Man, we're four dollars away from a big sh a beer shotgun now. Let's go! Shout out to Max Payne, supporting the channel via Max cash. Max Payne, out. a Steelers Talk legend. Really? Yeah. No way. He sent in a hundred dollars on Steelers Talk one time. Max Payne Media. A guy. It, his name is Max Payne. P A Y N E. No, I think this is different. Oh, okay. Never mind. Max Payne, are you a are you a are you a uh, uh, Steelers fan? As it's a sixteen point game, Philly controls the rock. I don't love the way this third quarter has gone. Yeah, Philly trying to claw their way back in, but when you look at it in the grand scheme of things, they were up. Knicks were up twenty at the half. It's only sixteen. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. We got over 900 people watching. Please subscribe to the channel. We greatly, greatly appreciate it. We're trying to get to 32,000 subs tonight. 32,000 subs tonight. As Creed, Creed says, with Randall inconsistent, why not go for Cat? Because I think Julius Randall's a better player than Cat. I just do. I think that the fit may make a little more sense with Cat, his ability to shoot the three ball. But I think right now, Randall is your power forward. And I don't think at this point the Timberwolves are trading Cat. They're the number one team in the West. I don't think they're trading Cat. I think their flaws are very similar. I mean, um, WF and Remedy says you're not correct with that take. Which take? Which take? That Randall's better than Cat? I watched the Timberwolves play the Knicks the other night, and Randall cooked Cat, and he won the game for the Knicks in the fourth quarter. Cat's a better three-point shooter, no doubt about it. As Brunson hands it off to Julius, he's going to post up Pat Bev. Here comes a double, and Randall turns it over. That's just not, not keeping your head on a swivel, and it's going to be a run-out layup for Philly. Cut the lead to 14. Nick's got to tie it up. Nick's got to tie it up. Tighten up, tighten up, tighten up is what I was trying to say. Brunson, one-on-one -on -one versus Bev. I'd like to see him take his old ass into the lane. He drives, kicks, and an OB, pump fake. He'll pull up, 15-footer, in and out. Hardenstein almost tipped it in. Gets the own rebound, then poked away. Philly's out and running. It's a four-on-three. Good recovery by the Knicks. 
Maxi in the corner. Now to Embiid. Embiid back to Maxi. Maxi's going to look to drive. He does. And it's going to be a stolen. Either way, it's a charge. Jalen Brunson slides in and takes a charge. Nick's ball. When things aren't going well for you on the offensive end, you got to grind on the defensive end. Great charge taken by Br Jalen Brunson right outside the restricted area. Was his heel on the line? No. He's good. Uh... <laughs> inbound the ball. Can we inbound the ball? Don't love that we're going to a TV might timeout. Might be a challenge here. Brunson's heel might have been on that white line. Might have been on that white line. While we have a commercial break, Marshy, tell them about our sponsor. For absolutely, the absolutely. While we do go to a TV timeout, stick around. We'll be back. I got to give you guys uh, some information, though, on our proud sponsor today, Prize Picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and get playing the number one daily fantasy sports app in North America. And when you use the promo code CLNS, Prize Picks will match your initial deposit up to 100 bucks. So you'll get 100 bucks for free if you put 100 bucks into your account. It's daily fantasy sports made easy. All you do is create a lineup of two to six players, and you simply choose more or less on their projected stat line. Um, the lineup I went with tonight, I don't love the way that it's rolling so far. Uh, Brunson, I had more than eight assists. He does not have one tonight, so don't look good there. And then Joel Embiid, 52-plus points, rebounds, and assists. Um, he is on his way there, but Brunson's assists may hurt me tonight. But... That's why you play prize picks and use the promo code CLNS. Because if you use the promo code CLNS, you'll get a $100 deposit match. You get 100 bucks for free, little room for error. Prizepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS. Jake says, Marsh, I hate that you stick up for Randall. He's playing awful. I have never been confused for a Julius Randall supporter so much in my life, and I appreciate you guys thinking that. Um, I've known Marsh for two and a half years. The brother doesn't stick up for Julius Randle. When he plays good, I say he plays good. I think I am, I think I am more fair than anybody on Randle. When he plays bad, I'm going to let you know he plays bad. He's playing bad tonight. He's playing bad, but this doesn't feel like a Julius meltdown game yet. 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 He's not pouting. Not pouting. I feel like the energy's been okay, um, but... I think he has played bad tonight, and I've said that. We've all said that. Joey DeLuca says, I really hope we win tonight. We're doing good so far, but Randall is off tonight. He is. Randall's got to tighten up. I'm with you, Stacks. Keep going downhill, Julius. Go, go touch square. Go touch the square. A little leeway. Absolutely right, Michael Vasquez. Absolutely right. Keith Turner. Ten toes down, Turner knows. When Julius is bad, Marshall lets you know. I think I'm I think I'm pretty fair on most players on the Knicks. I think I'm pretty fair. We got 977 people watching. Please subscribe to the channel. We put out free content every single day. We'll be live tomorrow night against the Wizards. So subscribe, turn your notifications on, and come back then. So let's go. We're also $5 away from $300 of Super Chats. $5 away from another beer shotgun. Five. Right, the future says Marsha's 60-40 against Randall. Marsha's fair. Calls them miles news. Thank you, Jay Liv. Thank you. All right, here we go. Starters remain in the game. Check that. That is a lie. DiVincenzo has checked out. Hart has checked in. Brunson drives, kicks, and an OB corner off the mark. He's not, he has not knocked down those threes the last two games. And it's going to be a run out. Layup, Springer, blocked by Hart. Wow, the effort from the Knicks, and then Brunson's fouled. A couple times tonight, the coop, uh, the coop, coop. The Knicks have seen out of position, but they've hustled back on transition D, and it's saved maybe six points already tonight. Yeah, that's all you can do is if you get caught out in transition, you just got to hustle back, and Tom Thibodeau will absolutely love that kind of play. David says, who do I think we should trade for if not Towns? A guard. Uh, I want another guard. I'm looking at DeJounte Murray. I'm looking at Malcolm Brogdon. Those are my two guys right now. All right. Come on, Brunson. Bring us home. Brunson drives. Pushed off the screen. Knicks kick it around. Josh Hart has it. Top of the key. Gets it to Hartenstein. And he just turned it over. Josh Hart with another terrible pass. Second game in a row. 
Embiid in transition, picks up his dribble, and the Knicks get back, and now we're going to play half-court defense. We're going to post up Embiid at the foul line. Hartenstein guarding, Embiid drives, layup, no good. Hart with the rebound. Great Let's defense. go. Brunson's out and running. I'd pull up for three, JB. He didn't. He slowed it down. We're going to post up Randall versus Morris, former Nick. Randall back to the basket, puts it on the deck. Here comes Embiid, weak side. He doesn't see him, and he turns it over. Randall's playing terrible basketball right now. Julius Randle is playing terrible basketball right now. I think the Knicks should go to a small ball lineup with Ananobi at the four and get DiVincenzo or Grimes in. As in B drive, that's got to be a tra travel. We're going to post up in B, eight on the shot clock. He's got him Hartenstein on him. He's going to drive middle, spins back to his right, and he just pushes Hartenstein down and gets the layup to go. It's a 12 point game. Of course, no call. And B tries to spin move. He's hooking him, first of all. He goes into his shoulder. A little bit of a flop from Hartenstein, but that's okay. It'd be a 30-point game if Julius Randle showed up tonight. Yeah. Randle has been awful. <sighs> Nick seemed to get it going. If you had to pick one, DeJounte Murray, Malcolm Brogdon, who are you going? I'm going to go Murray. I think he's a better player. I think he's a better player. About three minutes remaining here in the third quarter. Knicks up 12. I do think they need to sit Julius Randle for a few minutes here. i like to see Hartenstein, OG, Hart, Grimes, or DiVincenzo and Brunson cook for a little bit. Yeah, I like that lineup. I mean, you can't tell me Ananobi can't play the power forward in this game. They've got Marcus Morris there. <laughs> Let Randall sit down a little bit. Let Randall sit down for a bit. Is DeJounte Murray an upgrade over Dante DiVincenzo? He is. He is. But if you want to keep Devin Chenzo on the lineup, then you go get Brogdon and he'll come off the bench. You need guys like Chenzo on the team. Yeah. Knicks are only up 12, and Philly is on a 7 0 run. Knicks make some changes to the lineup. It's McBride, Hart, Randall, Hartenstein, and Grimes. So Tibbs goes the opposite way of what I'm thinking. Randall gets into the lane. He's got Morris on him. Finds a cutting backdoor. Grimes is blocked at the rim by Embiid. Go punch that shit, man. That soft ass fucking layup shit. It's that TikTok dance shit you do. As Grimes almost forces steal on the other end, and then Beverly flops like a punk, and now we're going to get Embiid versus Hartenstein. He's at the three-point line, crosses over. Knicks are playing a little bit of zone here. I like this. Beverly catches. Randall defends. He drives, finds an open springer, right corner, three off the mark, but it's going to be a rebound by Randall. 150 to go. 150 to go. Randall's going to go at Beverly. Almost has it stolen. Beverly's playing good D. Ball's loose, and he's fouled. Sloppy play from the Knicks right now. Yeah, someone needs to take control of this game. The Knicks haven't scored in seven, seven minutes and 20 seconds. They're scoreless since the 7.20 minute mark in the third quarter. That's almost six minutes. Hart will throw it into Hartenstein. Arnstein looking to create. He'll dribble handoff. Nope. Now he's going to go at Embiid. Backdoor cut to Deuce. Deuce back to Hartenstein. Beautiful offense from Hartenstein and McBride, and it results in a dunk for iHeart. A much-needed bucket. Much-needed bucket, Coop. 14-point game, 90 seconds to go in the third. Let's keep this double digits. Let's keep this above 12. Beverly will bring it up. McBride will guard him. Morris will catch it. He'll, he'll look to cook. He's a good player, man. He could face up and shoot it. He'll find Beverly in the corner. Deuce with a good closeout. Beverly's three is an air ball. Ball's on the ground. Grimes controls. Knicks will have it. Deuce will bring it up the right side. One minute to go. Deuce gets a screen from my heart. Now they're going to post up Randall. Randall versus, is that Daniel House? It is. House cannot guard Randall, but Randall has been guarding himself. Kicks, heart, open, corner, three! Off the mark, no good. You need, you need to hit those shots, Josh. Now, 
Beverly gets it to Embiid. Embiid one on one versus Hartenstein. Do show and help. I love this. He's doubled. Steps through. Ball stolen. It's in the air. Grimes battling and gets it. Love the possession of the defense on the defensive end from the Knicks. 25 seconds on the shot clock. 15 on uh, 25 seconds in the game. 15 on the shot clock. About a 10 second shot clock game clock difference here. Hart has it. Gets it to Julius. Seven on the clock. Julius one on one versus House. He's gonna cross over and he throws it away. Deuce catches it. He'll launch a three air ball. Oh, they oh. called a foul. <laughs> they called Beverly for a foul on Deuce. That might be three free throws. <gasps> that might be three free throws. As Coop, that's Absolutely a foul. Absolutely a foul. That's a foul. Yes. And I think that might be three for Deuce. I think his feet are behind the arc. He got it off in time. I don't know what Beverly could be bitching about. I believe it's three free throws coming up for Deuce, who had 12 points in that first quarter. He went 4-4 four, four from deep. Deuce, first free throw. Good. As it's going to be three free throws, it's Precious that you will check in after the next one. Second free throw for Deuce. Good. These are big free throws, Coop. Huge. Huge to get some points here by the end of the third quarter. The Knicks, this obviously hasn't been their best quarter, but if you come away here with the 17-point lead, you're and you only really lose the quarter, by what, by three then? I'm cool with you're that. You're outscored by three. McBride knocks down the first two. The third one is up and in. How about a stop here? Knicks up 17, 10 on the clock. Deuce will pick up Tyrese Maxey up full court. They cannot foul. Five seconds to go. Maxey's going to drive. Kicks. It's going to be Springer driving baseline. It's going to be an open three. No, oh, no good. Did not get it off. Knicks are going to the fourth. Up 17. Type those fours. Let's go, baby. Type those fours. Come on, Knicks. Come on, Knicks. Come on, Knicks. 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 Come on, Knicks. 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 Let's go. We are the New York Knicks. Light up the chat, baby. Let's go. We got almost 1,100 people in here watching. Type the fours in the chat. Shout to Jeremy, Hilton, I am Jules, Rowley, RTY Gamer, Michael Vasquez, Stacks, Jonathan Martinez, Mikey Black, Gyro, Hi, Gyro Casto, Hyro Casto. What up, Castro? That's on me. I'm not that smart. Raymond Martinez, Richard Artie, Juan LaGuardia, 2 a.m. Creed, Joey DeLuca, A.J. McMecca, Paul, Kent Clark, BX Bang, and NY Reppin, Evan Penn, Brightest Future, William McConaughey, David C., Beast Jr., Dennis, BSG, J. Liv, El Cid, Marshall, why, keep, why we keep hating on Randall? I don't know if you're serious or not, but it's been <laughs> awful today. Artie Rock in the building. What up, Artie Rock? David, Beast, Jeremy. Hilton. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We got a 1,000 people in here watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel. We would greatly, greatly appreciate it. We're on the cusp of getting to 32,000 subs tonight. 32,000 subs tonight. Sub for Nick's dubs help us get there as we're just over 200 away we're 213 subscribers away from 32,000 nick davidov in the chat saying i love deuce he's davidov. played good basketball tonight davidov he's played good basketball shout out to nick davidov so nick davidov will or will not be at the game next thursday i am under the assumption that nick davidov will be at the okay. game next thursday against the mavericks in dallas uh, i'm not Sure for that, though. Frank Serrano says, New York Knicks. Shout out to Frank Serrano. That's my guy right there. As isked, isked, isked. E-S-K-T says, let's go, Knicks. Appreciate it. Davidoff says he will be at the game in Dallas. I will be there as well. I will send you an email. Let's get together. I'll be there, Davidoff. Let's go, Davidoff. And then D-Music, my man, a real one. Let's go. Go, Go Knickerbockers! Let's go. D Music, where in England are you from? Let us know. I'm a big soccer fan. 
Deuce Marvel. getting some love in the chat. He's up to 15 points tonight, I think. Sounds right. That's got to be a season high. <laughs> That's what Ty Johnson just says. It's season high. I think so. I think so. We're now $3 away from, a, from another beer shotgun. $3 away from another beer shotgun. Don't hear Jake Chipper in the chat crying about his team getting his ass kicked. Me either. What section? I am section 120, I believe. 120, about 20 rows up. I'm, right, I'm going to be right behind the New York Knicks bench. Right behind the New York Knicks bench. I'll make a post on the community page in my Twitter. Uh, I'd like to see if there's any Knicks fans out there that are real ones. I would love to, to meet up, say hello, say thank you, and take a picture. Beast Jr., thoughts and prayers for you, my man. Thoughts and prayers for you. As Ubre drives and throws it down to start the fourth. Ubre with an uncontested drive, rise and, rises and throws it down. The five on the floor for the Knicks. McBra and then Patrick Beverly flops, saying Josh Hart hit him with an elbow in the mouth, and it's going to be an offensive foul. I freaking hate Patrick Beverly. And now he's fine. Oh, shocker. And now he's fine. That's what we're flopping Get at? Get over yourself. That's what we're flopping at, bro? Man, that dude's a bum. That dude's a bum. As Creed! And then Deuce gets a steal on the inbound! F you, Beverly! Deuce pressured the inbound, and Beverly threw it away! Tight those twos as Creed and EC come in with $5 Super Chats. Let's go, Knicks! Achua, handoff, Grimes, kicks, Deuce, pump fake. Now he'll bring it out, and then he'll reset. 17 on the shot clock, plenty of time. I like Ananobi with the second unit. Deuce fires off the mark. Achua battles and gets the board. Finds Ananobi. Who has the ball batted away? It's going to be Nick's ball on the baseline. Oh, 10 to shoot. Nick's might have got a bone right there. Nick Nurse is going to challenge this. This will be 76. It's off it. My thing, though, is you got to. It'll be Sixers' ball. It'll be Sixers' ball. Is that a foul, though? It's going to be Sixers' ball going the other way. And Obi coughed it up. As I do owe a beer shotgun. We're up to $307 in Super Chats. Once we get to $350, we'll do another one. Let's go. Frank Serrano in the building. Says BDL, ball don't lie. Let's go. Let's go. Shout out to you guys. Let's go. D Music said he's from Manchester. That's dope. I love Manchester. I love London. Ugh. You feeling it a little bit? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. We are seven subs away from 31,800. There's a thousand people watching, so I know all of you aren't subbed. Hit that sub button right now. Right nah, now. That one hurt me. That one hurt. It's crazy, dude. It's crazy. Crazy, man. Uh, oh, I needed oh, that. Oh, that's good. I needed that. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, I'm back. Yeah, there we I'm go. back. We're back. I apologize <laughs> to absolutely no one. The double champ does whatever he wants. I'm sorry you had to hear that. CJ, thanks for supporting the channel, my man. Thank you, my man. Shout, Shout out to CJ. You, Siege. Siege. First time super chatter. CJ. That was all right. Yeah, that guy, Preocupate e Desperita Boricua. Yeah. He, he was talking a lot of shit. I had to get him out of here. I, oh, yeah. If you're talking shit, you're going to be banned. All right, get that fucking out. Get that fucking shit out of here. I didn't see what he said, but F him. He was calling us baboons for drinking. Weirdo. Sounds really fun at parties. Yeah, we'll see ya. Sounds really fun at parties. 
This is not a d- democracy. This is a no, dictatorship. This is a dictatorship. This is a dictatorship. <laughs> Holy shit. Rich Rob, what up? Rich Rob. The in first the, house. the first double R. The first double R. Holy shit. I'm crying from that last beer shotgun. As CJ <laughs> sends in a $10 super chat. CJ. You know what, CJ? Yeah. I'll take a shot for that. Shout out to CJ, my man. Max Payne Media. Is that is that the Max Payne Media? No, different Max Payne. Different okay. Max Payne. As he says, Coops. Producer Coop is in the building Cheers. tonight. Show Coop some love in the chat. Tom Izzo is right. This is not a democracy. Woo! This is a dictatorship. No doubt about it. A dictatorship. As the call has been overturned, it'll be Sixers ball the other way. No doubt about it. Shout out to Kit Lamar. Shout out Ty. Shout out AJ and Ruben. Mr. Billy Valdez. Good to see you, my man. My man. All right, here we go, Coop. This a is full the, court this, pressure from this the This is where you win a ball game. This is where you win a ball game. 15 point game, 11 minutes to go. It's Ananobi, Hart, McBride, pressed to chew in, Grimes on the floor. Maxi tries. Follow 8 2. Good. Good. Will has a good point. He says he doesn't remember a game that the Knicks have lost with me producing. I don't either. I don't either. Deuce is, uh, Coop's that good luck charm. As the Knicks move it around, good ball movement here, but they got to make something of it. Achua now at the top of the key. Hand off to Hart. Hart's going to drive on, uh, oh, wow, moving it around. Helter Skelter. Deuce is going to launch a three. Air ball, turnover. It's time to get Brunson in the game. No more dilly-dallying around. Let's get the kid in the game and let's and go here win he it. comes. As Brunson runs to the scores table. We know ball. Uh, you can't fart around against this Philadelphia 76ers team, especially when Embiid is not on the floor. Hartenstein and Brunson set to check in as Maxi gets an open three. Luckily, he missed it. Luckily, he missed it. You were getting nervous on that one. Hell yeah, that looked good. Grimes for three. Good. Quentin Grimes knocks it down. Knicks up 16. That's a big one from Quentin Grimes. Yes, it is. Maxi tries. Behind the back, Paul Hell Reed no. pump fake. Make Paul Reed beat you. Goes to the Chua. Chua bumps it away. Reed fall away too. No good. Hell if that, no. If that's a bucket, I'm cool with that Get offense, Get that though. shit out of here. <laughs> Hart brings it up to Grimes. Grimes pump fake. Drive. Layup. Fouled. Love the aggressive takes from Quentin Grimes. I didn't know that was part of Quentin Grimes' game. Keep being aggressive, Grimes. We got a $2 super chat from Too Much Sauce. Too Much Sauce. Too Much Sauce. Too Much Sauce. Start a franchise with Maxi, Trey Young, Deer, and Fox. It's Fox for me, and I'm not sure it's relatively close. Yeah, I think it's Fox easily. I think Fox is in that upper echelon. It goes Fox 1, Maxi 2, 50 feet of shit, Trey Young 3. What's the little Uzi Vert song? Got Too Much Sauce. Too Much Sauce. With Future. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Grimes at the line. Too much sauce. Makes a first. Makes a first. Could make it 18 here with the second. And he does. Less than 10 minutes to go. Nicks up by 18. As Rich Rob coming in. Embiid, Maxi, two man game. Maxi kicks. Ubre three. No good. Brunson good skies board. in for the board. Rich Rob! Chat, shout out my godson, Spy, a Stone, a new sub. Everyone type Stone in the chat. Grimes, three. Good. <laughs> Quentin Grimes is on fire. Everyone get a Stone in the chat for the realist. For the realist. Nick's up by 21. Embiid hands it off to Maxi. Oh, Ananobi on him. Playing good D. Maxi miss, and it's going to be. Oh, a foul. I don't think Ananobi has given up a bucket outside. He's of... playing such good defense. As gr- That's a tough shot, Coop. Yeah, coming off the curl like that with the body in your face. That's a real tough shot. Great shot by Grimes. If Grimes can get back to being a 38% three-point shooter 
and averaging 11 points per game, that is going to be a big piece for this Knicks team down the stretch. I'm a fan of Quentin Grimes. I love the game. He'd be great next to Luca. He would be fantastic. Multiple, oh, be multiple so on defense, catch and shoot. Uh, he'd be great for them. Darren the Tuber here in Philly, enjoying everyone's silence. Go New York, go, go New, New York, York, go, go New York, go New York, go. Shot to Darren the Tuber. Enjoy it, my man. Let's close it out. Maxi, second free throw. Good. All right, 20 point game, nine minutes to go. It's about the little things now. Take care of the ball, don't foul. And you'll win this game. Brunson will bring it up. Ubre is going to pick him up half court. Gets a screen from Hartenstein. He's got room to cook. Brunson into the lane. Pump fake. Step through. Goes at Embiid. Bad play by Brunson. It's a turnover. Here comes Joel. Bringing it up the right side. Hartenstein will be guarding him. Gets him on the block. Shimmy. Fall away two. Off the mark. Grimes battles for the board over Morris. That's a big time board by Grimes. It's Brunson, Hartenstein, Grimes, Hart, and Ananobi on the floor. This is kind of the lineup I called for, Coop. Let's yeah, see it work. Yeah, what we were looking for. Brunson's doubled, gets it to Hartenstein, finds Ananobi, and he lays it up and in. Hartenstein with a nice pass on the back door, cut to Ananobi, and he finished. Ananobi in that dunker spot, like you said. He's a good cutter. Good That's cutter. Indiana hoops right there. It ain't Villanova, but I'll take an Indiana hooper. Former New York Knicks coach Mike Woodson, the head coach in Indiana right now. <laughs> Shout out to Mike. I do love me some Mike, Mike Woodson. Uh, he was a good coach when Melo was cooking. Probably the best coach Melo had. We're up I, 22. I couldn't even name the other coaches. D'Antoni. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think Fisdale and um, the white guy, Hornacek. He stunk. Jeff Hornacek. Jeff Hornacek. God damn, he sucked. Um... Are those all – Derek Fisher? There were some bad mellow coaches. Derek Fisher was the head coach of the Knicks. I forgot about that. There were that. some bad coaches for the Knicks. One last time, got to give a huge shout-out to today's sponsor, Factor. Go to factormeals.com slash KnicksChat50. Use that promo code KnicksChat50, and Factor will hook you up with 50% off your first order. With the new year here, let's take advantage of the deal. Save 50% off. Get chef-prepared, dietitian approved meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Fresh, never frozen. They taste great, and they keep you on track for your health needs. If you're looking for low-calorie meals, they got that. If you're looking for low-carb meals, they got that. If you're looking for high-protein meals, they got that. If you want veggie meals, or if you're a vegan, they've got options for you as well. Pick your pre-made meals. They're prepped and cooked to perfection. Fresh, never frozen. My favorite thing about them, all it takes is two minutes to heat them up in the microwave. You put them in your fridge. They've got smoothies. They've got protein shakes and so much more. You guys are going to love it. I love it. Support the show. Support the sponsor. It is factormeals.com slash NicksChat50. Promo code NicksChat50. I don't think Larry Brown was a coach for the Knicks with Carmelo Anthony. He no. was the coach for the Knicks at one point, for, but not for Carmelo Anthony. Jake says, Marsh, you see how much better we look now when he's out of the game? The score went up. Oh, that's funny. We got 1,100 people watching, and we're 200 subscribers away from 32,000. I am pretty damn confident that there are 200 people that are not subscribed. So if you're one of the 200 people not subscribed, I kindly ask you to do so. Give us a week. Give us a week. If you don't like this channel in a week, you can unsubscribe. But I promise you, in that week of you being subscribed, nobody on YouTube is going to inform entertain and have more passion driven content than we do here at Knicks now so give us a shot if you don't like it in a week you can unsubscribe but give us a shot and help us reach one of our goals of getting to 32,000 subs tonight if we get to 32,000 subs tonight we're going crazy with the Patron come on sub for Knicks Dubs how about this if you are subscribed to the channel type, type me, me. Type me in the chat if you are subscribed to the channel so I know who the real ones are. So I know who the real ones are. Al Frank says, I was here for 30K. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at all the real ones coming in. Shout out to A, uh, Dre, AJ, Eugene, Reese, all the real ones in the chat. Thank you, guys. Thank you. OG. <gasps> sub, sub, sub. We would appreciate it. Free content every day. I put out a Knicks video every day for you guys. All righty. 
Five on the four is Brunson, Hart, Hartenstein, Grimes, and Anobi. I like this five. As Embiid will pick up his dribble. He'll play a two-man game with Maxi. He'll hand it off to him. Maxi's going to drive baseline. He's met by Hart. Layup short. Hart with the board. And Knicks are out and running. Grimes is pushing the pace. He's got a cutting Brunson. He found him. Dropped the pass. Grimes relocates. Off the mark. But he gets his own board. And then he saves it to Brunson, who's foul. fouled. Brunson's fouled. Love the... This is one of my favorite Quentin Grimes, game, Quentin Grimes games of the year. Uh, the production may not be there in the stat sheet when you look at it raw. But Cooper, if you've watched this game, he's made a lot of effort plays tonight and a nice, a nice skill, skillful showing for him. Been a very good glue guy tonight. Made some big shots as well. I'd let him keep cooking. No doubt. Yeah, you keep him in this ballgame. Absolutely. Hartenstein picks his dribble up. Hands it to Grimes. Grimes has it. Finds Brunson. Brunson's got an open three. He'll take it. And he'll miss it off the back iron. A rebound by Maxi. We're at 740 to go. Nick's up by 22. Just play D. Don't foul. And use that shot clock. Embiid. Foul line jump. In and out. Grimes with the board. Nick's got to go. Just push it up, Grimes. And he will. Grimes will cross half court. 15 on the shot clock. Hartenstein has it. Top of the key. Daniel House playing good defense on him on Brunson. Hartenstein, backdoor pass to Hart, who smoked the layup, but he got fouled. Hart got whacked in the head. He'll go to the line for two. Danny McGrath is in the building. What up, Danny? And then Sean D says, let's go, Knicks. Let's go, Rangers, too. New York strong. Shout Coop. out, Igor. Coop, how are my Rangers looking this uh, year? Your Rangers are a really good, really good team. Igor is one of the best goalies in the league. We knew that. He's Igor an absolute Shisterkin. wagon. Uh, you have, look, the Rangers are cup contenders is all I'll say. Better than last year? Rangers are number one in the East right now. They have a legit chance to win it all, no doubt. You got the likes of Bradman, Artemi Panarin, Mika Zibanejad, Vinny Trocek, and of course Chris Kreider. Kreider, that's a legend. I've heard that name plenty of times. Nick's up by 24. Maxi will line up a triple. Off the mark. Brunson Skies. Board is going to be... Going to be a loose ball foul on Philly. Brunson drew it. It'll be Nick's ball going the other way. Sean D., I'm a Dallas Stars fan. We are also cup contenders this year, except our best player just got hurt. All right, seven minutes to go. Sean D., we appreciate you, my man. My man Castro says the bread man is awesome. Yeah, he is. Oh, yeah. Hartenstein has it. Finds a cutting OG. Goes up for it. Hartenstein with a big-time layup over Embiid. Hartenstein's played his tail off tonight. He's awesome. Brunson with the steal. He's going to run it out and throw it down, kind of. He kind of dunked it. He kind of laid it up. And the Knicks are almost up by 30 as Hartenstein blocks Embiid. Grimes is out and running. Layup. Good. And one. Let's go, Knicks. Go New York, go New York, go. Go New York, go New York, go. Go New York, go New York, go. We are the New York Knicks. We are the New York Knicks. Let's go Knicks. Woo! This team is special. This team is special. And if Quentin Grimes can shake off the dust, they are going to be tough. Let's go, Knicks. We're up 31, Coop. Oh, my bad. That, that's an F me. Let's get up by 40. Josh Hart to Hartenstein. Hartenstein up top. He's going to drive, looking to create for others. Gets it to Brunson. 10 on the shot clock. Brunson drives, drops it off. Hartenstein layup in. Hartenstein has played as well as Embiid tonight. Get your guys out of the game, Nick Nurse. A skinny, a skinny says they are underestimating the Knickerbocker power. As that's a miss by Embiid, and of course they of call course it a they foul. foul. Embiid to... missed the layup, so it's a foul. Thirty-three group. point game. They give him the foul call. What a joke. <laughs> hey, Nick Nurse, welcome to the Eastern Conference.
Ray Roman with the five. Says, says where's the Norman. boot? We're at $350 in Super Chats. My stomach hurts like a motherfucker. But I will make a deal. If we get to 500 in Super Chats as a team tonight, I'll do a boot. We're at 350. We're 150 away. A boot is three happy dads, and then I chug. That'll be the last thing we do on the stream because I will throw up. Um, we're 150 away from a boot. As Double F, Fury's Forums, as we all dig Hartenstein, right? Grip player. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Everyone loves Hartenstein, except for dumbass Stephen A. Smith. I gotta watch some dude named Hartenstein. He doesn't yeah. know shit. Ah, Stephen A's a punk. He's racist. Brunson up to... That, I shouldn't have said that. I apologize. I, I, no, I don't apologize. I don't. He is. Hartenstein... You know Hartenstein is... <laughs> I'm over it. Brunson, 18-footer cash. <laughs> Let's go, Knicks. <laughs> I fucking hate that dude. Ubre floater, good. Eric Trump <laughs> with the ten. Good, good, good job. Eric Trump, what up? Winning by two hundred. I called it first. Let's go, Knicks. Let's go. Less than five minutes to play. Brunson. Dribbling, gets a screen, crossover, gets into the lane, finds Grimes, Grimes jab step, relocate, three! Good! Quentin Grimes is back! Quentin Grimes is back! Let's go, Knicks! We'll see you, Joel. You fucking stiff. Let's go up 40. Let's go up 40. Mr. Billy Valdez with the $5 super sticker. We appreciate you, Billy. If Quentin Grimes is back, guys, this team is different. If you have Ananobi who can catch and shoot, you have Dante DiVincenzo who can catch and shoot, Quentin Grimes who can catch and shoot, Jalen Brunson can catch and shoot. Oh, brother. William Davis says, let's go Knicks Eastern <laughs> Conference Finals. William Davis. Let's go, Knicks. RTY Gamer. Go oh. New York, go New York, go. Go New York, go New York, go. Shout out to RTY Gamer. Let's go, Knicks. Jeremy Malloch with a Je Mark Davisism. Knicks are. Playing with the food. <laughs> Playing with the food. Shout out to Jeremy. Tuning in, Jeremy. We appreciate you, my man. We appreciate you. As we've got a real one. Stepping in. Seal Pasito! A $20 super chat. We keep rolling, 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 ro 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 rolling, 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 rolling. Let's go, Pasito. Let's go. And then Lisa Royer. What up? What's up, Lisa? Let's go, Knicks. Let's go, Knicks. And then OG coming OG. in. Remember when we had that losing streak to Philly? <laughs> Not so much anymore. Not so much anymore as Grimes in transition lays it up and in. Go New York, go New York, go! Go New York, go New York, go! Shout out to OG the homie, my man. Knicks are blowing their ass out. Why are, are Knicks rotation players in the ball game? <laughs> the Sixers have a 36 empty... point game. <laughs> you say it because I can't. It's going to upset me. Why are they in the ball game? <laughs> At least Brunson's out. Hardenstein. Get OG Josh Hart are, are still in the ball game? Get OG. What are we doing? Get OG and Hartenstein out. Get As Hart I, out of the game too. And, yeah, let, get Archie Diacono in there. Let's let's let let's let the end of the bench guys roll. Okay. Hartenstein is out. Achua is in. Achua is in. Thank God. Arch is in as well. Danny McGrath says, don't make me do it. Danny McGrath. What's he going to do? Oh, you are something else, Danny McGrath. Hey, we're up to 390. We're 110 away from a boot. 
I'm in. If Danny's in, I'm in to party. As Precious with good defense. Archie Diacono, Hart, Grimes, Achua, and McBride in the game. Archie Diacono for three. Off the mark. Off the mark. Hart with the board and the finish. Oh, this is fun. This is fun, isn't it? Josh Hart, Coop, 10 boards, 10 points. Josh Hart, 10 points, 15 boards, 6 assists. Triple-double machine. <laughs> Josh Hart. Who doesn't love Josh Hart? If you don't love Josh Hart, you don't love basketball. Grimes, 3. Go! The Knicks are up 39. <laughs> the Knicks are skull-fucking the Sixers. <laughs> Oh, let's get the F chips in F the chat. Chip. F Everyone chip in the F chat. F chip in the chat. F chip. I'm going to call Jake Chipper right now. Call Jake I'm Chipper. Calling call Jake Chipper. I'm calling him. F the Sixers. Fuck Philly. Can let's put, go, Nick. Can I put Jake Chipper on speaker? Yes. I'm, fuck I'm Jake putting Chipper. him on speaker. F Jake Chipper. As you guys can hear. <laughs> 2.20 to go. Jericho Sims has checked in. You got Sims and Precious Achua in the game. I'd like to see Grimes be taken out as Paul Reed throws it down weak side. Oh. Chip doesn't want to face the music. Of course he doesn't. He's a coward. He's a coward. He's a coward. He's not going to answer. That's soft, Chip. Oh, you got the voicemail. Of course you did. F chip. F chip. Nick's up by 37. That's not a typo. Grimes. Three. Off the back iron. No you good. <laughs> I'm trying to win by 40. Danny McGrath, if you are out there, I think you can get us there. As Precious Achua contests, Paul Reed knocks it down. Knocks it down. No answer from Chip. He's a coward. 140 to go. Frank Serrano says F Chipper. Absolutely. Facts. Grimes, ISO, Reed, pull up, foul line. Off the back iron. Jericho battling. Bomba will control. And we got less than 90 seconds to go as the New York Knicks just went into Philly and beat the piss out of the Sixers. They just beat the piss out of them. Mo Bamba playing garbage time is hilarious. We just beat the piss out of these dudes. That's crazy that Chip didn't answer. What a puss. We got 1,200 people watching. If you could, please subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel. We're less than 200 subscribers away from 32,000. I know there's about 150 people watching right now that are not subscribed. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you did. We put out free, informative content every single day. We'll be live on the channel tomorrow for the Watch Party versus the Sixers, and we're trying to make this the biggest show on Knicks YouTube, and we need your help. Hit that sub button as Malachi Flynn has made his Knicks debut. Pressure that you already knocked down one three. He's going to drive on Bob. That gets to the paint. Hook shot. Good. Coop, that was a nice move from Precious. Precious has some offensive game to him. He has a little move, he can, and he can hit the three as well. I like the game from Precious and Chua. I don't mind him as a bench big. I don't mind him as a bench big. This one is all but over. As Springer will drive, he'll kick it to Bamba. Precious playing good D, balls loose. It's going to be a missed shot rebound by Ryan Archie Diacono. As Deuce McBride brings it up that left side. Deuce finds Precious. Precious for three. No good. Gets his own board, though. That's where he's helped the Knicks, kind of. I know he hasn't been electric. I know he hasn't been any needle mover. But he has provided some offensive rebounding, which has helped this team in the lack of Mitch with Mitchell Robinson hurt. Springer will launch a three. That will be a miss. And Malachi Flynn will control. And your New York Knicks just beat the Philadelphia 76ers by 36 points at the... The fake ass Wells Fargo. Cheese right steaks suck. <laughs> Chopped cheese over here. Let's go!
$50 super chat. Get the KBs in the chat. Get the KBs in the chat. Show Bilotti some love. Let's go, Knicks. 3 and 0 since the trade. 3 and 0 since the trade. Let's go, Knicks. Let's go. Let's go. What a game. Wow. Best one of the season? You were down 10 in that first quarter. Yes, you were. You were down 10 in that first quarter. Held them to 92? NBA teams are never held under 100 points. Especially not ones with the MVP and some guy named Tyrese Maxey who told me people were better than Jalen Brunson. Yeah, MVP my ass. Mm, that's weird. We still think Tyrese Maxey is better than Brunson? Just cooked his ass. Cooked his ass. I think it's weird that Jake Chipper didn't answer the phone. I think it's very weird that's that crazy. Jake Chipper. Oh, he's calling back. He's calling back. Chip, you're live on New York Knicks now. What is your official statement? My official statement? Yes. Um, the Knicks are irrelevant. Nobody cares about the Knicks. It's one game. Julius it, Randle is terrible. It's one game where he got beat by 34 points. 34 po right, 36 man, you points. You know what? Julius Randle still sucks. Uh, is it embarrassing that you lost by 36 and Randle no-showed? Marsh wants to know if it's embarrassing that you lost by 30 and Randle no-showed. Bro, but... You had Miles McBride and Dante DiVincenzo turn into the fucking Splash Brothers. Play some defense. Your team stinks, Chip, and you guys get all the calls, by the way. Yeah. And Bean gets every single call. It's a 30-point game, and the refs are still sucking him off. <laughs> Dude, first, first of all, first of all, the calls were bad both ways. Don't, don't give me that bullshit. Get the F chips in the chat going. <laughs> Look, it was, it was a good old... It's a meltdown in Philly. The Sixers are no good, the and Eagles the biggest frauds in the NFL are the Philadelphia the Eagles. The Flyers stink. Jake Chipper is pissing down his leg. Keep, keep, keep the, out of this, the Eagles suck, and they might lose to the Giants this week. We'll talk to you later, Chip. F Chip in the chat. Let's go, Knicks! Go New York, go New York, go. Go New York, go New York, go. We're at the New York Knicks. We're the New York Knicks. Go New York, go New York, go. Go New York, go New York, go. Let's go, Knicks. Nick Davidov says F chip. That's my favorite F chip of the night. I am Jules with a $5 super chat. Can we talk about how we got nothing from Randall, but still dominated? What will the national fake media say this time? The Knicks have to make a trade. The Knicks have to get a star. They can't beat teams like the Sixers. Fuck off, Steven. Let's go next. Creed with a $2 super chat. Please tell me one reason we aren't contenders. I don't know many teams in the NBA that can hold the Sixers to 92 points. Oh, I'm not going to play a hater here. You need another guy. I'll give you the reason why I don't think the Knicks will win the East. We're not supposed to win the East right now. I got to see it from Julius Randle in the playoffs. Got us. If regular season Randall shows up, you are tough. You are, we, are tough. Can, can we put this on screen? The name? I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know either, but YouTube clearly allows it. I'm going to say no. All right. I agree. Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan. Comes in with a $5 super chest. Who do you think will lose first? Knicks or Raptors? F chip. The Raptors. Um, oh, the Raptors haven't lost yet either. Raptors have not okay. lost yet either. I don't care. I don't care what happens in Toronto. I don't care what happens in Toronto. Not concerned with what happens up north. I ain't concerned what happens above the north of the border. As Steve Chandler. Chandler. Steve Chandler. Steve Chandler says the Raps are losing tonight. Are they? Are they playing? I didn't think they played tonight. Steve Chandler also, he says... That's what we refer to in the industry as clapping cheeks. <laughs> yes, indeed. The Steve Sixers cheeks, cheeks got clapped tonight. Sixers cheeks got clapped tonight. They absolutely did. Chop cheese over cheese steaks any day, bums. You bum. You bum. Let's go. Shot to Steve Chandler. Steve Chandler, we appreciate you. We appreciate you. As we got a $10 super chat 
from Carnell Carnell Wright. Wright. Shout out to Carnell Wright. A $10 super chat. Let's go, Knicks. Coop, you want to just grab the stats from the game? Oh, yeah, I can do that. And then I'll start the cut just talking about the rumors full screen, and then let's do second half game Is there a Knicks stat? Yeah, yeah, in the sheet. Uh, And it absolutely is. 90s Knicks! What up? What up, 90s Knicks? Daniel Rodriguez says, my boy Embiid don't look happy against the Knicks right now. He did not look happy. Couldn't even score 100 points. Couldn't even score 100 points. Isaiah Hartenstein had him in cuffs. That man was sentenced to Guantanamo Bay the way that Isaiah Hartenstein was playing D on him. It just pisses me off that Embiid gets every single call. Every I don't call. care what everyone says. It pisses me off. It's, it's a joke. Matthew Smithson, it's not that I'm scared. It's that I don't want... Can you turn to channel Better safe 36? Than sorry. Which one? 36. Uh, yeah, I'm pointing down there. Thanks, Beast. Yeah, Eric, we're just going to play that one safe. I, I don't mean to be disrespectful. Um, I feel bad. It, safe and sorry. We showed him love. We shouted him out. Um, we just got to be careful. We just got to be careful. Especially when you look like this. You got to be careful. Thank you, Eric Trump. I apologize to my guy, Super Sane. Um, I hope it's no hard feelings. I know what it means. I know it's not a bad word, uh, but just safe, safe and sorry. As Top Dog, RLG, comes in with a ZAR 14. What is ZAR? Uh, let me do a quick Google search. South African. South African. Shout out to you. Much love. Oh, it says it on screen. I can't read. Much love from South Africa. Oh, my goodness. Let's go, Knicks. F-chip. F-chip. Hey, every super chat from now on that says F-chip, we're going to the Patron Zone. We're popping it. Top dog's getting the first one. Every super chat that says F-chip going forward, I'm taking a shot. Top dog, you'll like this. They just opened up a Nando's in Dallas. I know Nando's, very popular in South Africa. I've gone twice. I absolutely love Nando's. What is that? Uh, So it's this chicken chain uh, that started in South Africa. Very popular in the UK. It's so good. It just came here to Dallas, opened about three weeks ago. Let's go. Over right by your old crib in Addison. Oh, okay. Fired. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Still 750 people live. We're going to do a post-game show, and I'm going to address some of the trade rumors that came out from Jake Fisher, Chris Haynes, and some of the NBA reporters across the league. We'll break those down, so stick with us as we continue to roll on today's show. We're not going anywhere. We're going to break it down. Hang out with us. What's up? What's up, Foot? Are y'all still live? No. Oh. As Biohazard with a $10 super chat says F chip. Every super chat that comes in today from now until the end of the show that says F chip, we're taking shots at tequila. Chip stinks. Chip's a bum. 90s Knicks, love you, Brody. If you're from Philly, you're a stiff. (laughs) Biohazard, my man. Getting the stats ready for you guys. Just one moment. As Iskitty, Iskitty comes in with a $2 super chat. Says F chip. F chip. F chip. I don't know how many more I got. I may have oversold. I may have oversold. I don't know how many more I got. As CG1 says F chip and he has a Jalen Hurts profile picture. He's got a Jalen Hurts profile picture. (laughs) Jalen Hurts? Yeah. That guy's the most overrated player in the NFL. That's for damn sure. Ah, I don't know if I could do any more. A two from RTY Gamer, not just F-Chip, F-U-C-K-Chip. 
What does that spell? Oh my god. Oh, I got you, Marsh. I'll Shout out to I'll Coop. sub in. Coop subbing sub in. in. I need that. I need that. Steve Chandler says Josh Hart was plus 46. Josh Hart had Cheers. a hell of a game. Josh Hart had a hell of a game. <laughs> Indy scored 150 in regulation versus Atlanta. Against Atlanta, again. God, I hate the, P the Pacers. High-powered offense, man. They are. They are. There's no, there's no cap in that rap. The Knicks beat the Sixers by 36. 30, 34. Six. 128.92. 34. That just makes no sense. Two plus four is not eight. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> no, How you far right? away is two from eight? 34. 34. <laughs> okay. No, that's 36, dude. dude. It is not. <laughs> yes, it is. You want to bet on it? <laughs> Michael Vasquez is laughing at you, too. It's 30. It's 36. 128 minus 92 is 36. 128 <laughs> minus. It's 36. I'm 100% confident. Minus. Are you ready? You're going to look so dumb here. It is 36. I knew it. I knew it. It is 36. <laughs> Coop, you How let does that me make sense? You led me astray. No, okay. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> yes, it does, because 92 plus 6 is 98. 128 minus 98 is 30. What if it's 128 to 96? 128 to 96, you won by 32. No, you, no, 34. God damn it. It's no, 38. It's 38. No, it's 36. It's 36. <laughs> it's 100%. Oh, my goodness. You were convincing. I, I Look. What's I 128 it, minus 92? Off the top of your head. Off your head top. No, hey, you have to answer. Answer right now. <laughs> Coop tried to tell me it was 32. 34. No, I didn't. 34. That's what I said. Yeah, we're up 30 on Portland without Luca. Suck it. I knew I was right. All right, this is what I was trying to say before. So that's on me. You won by 36, Coop, and OG had 11 points, and Randall had 18. You only had one player in 20, 20 points. You only had one player in 20 Whoa. points. Oh, my God. Knowledge P is telling me to Hartenstein shut up. Hartenstein had 17. Hartenstein had 17. Knowledge P says, shot it up, Coop. I, I should. I need to shut it up after that. No, shot it up. Oh, I thought he said shut up. I was no, like, well, yeah, that too. Bro is counting from 28 to 92. <laughs> I was. I was. The 8 and the 2 is what got me confused. <laughs> Because 8 plus 4 is 12, so that's where my math kicked in. I was like, 34. Clearly it's not. That's where the math kicked in. Ah, it's good stuff. All right, are we ready to get into this post-game cut? Johnson U says 78 blowout games today killed all prize picks. Yeah, prize picks was no good today. F all right, picks. let's do the cut. Just kidding, not F prize picks. We love Um... I don't know. VOD says prize picks and factor. That just can't be true. I think Brett's going to answer. If he answers, you just say which one it's sponsored by, and I will pull it up. Okay, yeah, hold on. I know the math. You had was me off, so fellas. convinced. You had I know me the so math convinced. was off. I didn't major in math. I was a journalism major. <laughs> That's why we're here. Exactly. That's why I talk sports. Holy shit, that was fun. Me. Jay Liv, I could have done it like that. That probably would have been a little bit better. Factor says Jack. Factor. Factor? Oh, Jack responded. Yeah, of course he did. 
Shout out to Jack Lauderay. We love Jack. Steve Chandler says, I have to agree, Dizo. RTY Gamer coming in with the two. Grimes, the great. Oh Shout out to Grimes, the great. Um, Here, I'm going to make... Shout out to RTY Gamer. I'm going to move over a couple of player bios just real quick. Okay. By the way, we are less than $10 away from a $500 total, a.k.a. Yeah. We're doing boot. That's boot. We'll do the boot if we get to 500. We will do El Boot, though, if we get to 500. The Mavs are killing the Portland Trailblazers without Luka or Lively or that fraud Grant Williams tonight. Has he not been good? He's been horrible. Really? Mm -hmm. That's shocking. Um, they've asked him to do, play the four a lot, and they've asked him to play heavy minutes, and he has not been able to handle it. Has he not shot the ball well? He shot it okay. Started out really hot. Cooled down a little bit since. All right, we got a Brogdon player bio in there. And then I'm going to move over a DeJounte Murray, who has four cat. Which is really hard to do sober. Okay, you have uh, the list four cat for Murray will be at the V bottom below the player stats. Got it. All right. And then let me make sure it's not anyone else. Um, I'm going to get an Alec Burks one. Johnson, you, I was talking about Grant Williams. Sorry, I just saw it. I was talking about Grant Williams. Mav signed him this offseason. I thought he was going to be a really sign. good fit, and I think he will be playoff time. Yeah, it'll take some time. It, it'll definitely take some time. He's also been hurt a little bit. Evan Penn, I am positive the Mavs are winning. I'm currently watching the game. By how much? It is 108 to 76. My math tells me that is 32 points. No. No, no, no. Yes. yes. <laughs> this one is 32. This is 32. This one is 32. The Mavs are winning. Steve Chandler says, oh, let's go, 500. The boot's coming. As the Bush Kid. Bang. Shout out to the Bush Kid let's for go. the win. Shout out to Bush Kid, an absolute legend here on Knicks Now. Evan Penn, 109.78, 31. The map's getting better. All right, then I'm going to move over a way in two. Sounds good. And we'll hit at the top of the show. And then Steve we... Chandler says MB just demanded a trade to New York in the post-game presser. It'll be at the very bottom of the way in. Way in two? Yeah. Cool. Chris, it is the famous American school system. It failed Marshall and I. I was cool with math until they started putting letters in it. When you put there. letters in it, why are you doing that shit? Come yeah. on. What are we doing? All right. So we got Brogdon Bio, yep. Jante Cat, and then a way in two. All right. Let's do that for the first half. Sub read in the first half. And a pri uh, factor. Factor. And then I will we'll close it out with stats. Close it out with El Statos. Good. All righty. Okay, post game show coming up. Let's do it. I'm gonna turn this down. Let's rock. The New York Knicks may have had their best win of the season versus the Philadelphia 76ers, winning by 30 plus points against a team that was inside the top three. And people like Stephen A. and people at ESPN told you there's no way the Knicks can compete against a team like the Philadelphia 76ers. Well, they just walked into their own building. 
and they dog walked them. The New York Knicks just dominated the Philadelphia 76ers. And we're going to break down that game. We'll talk about how good Brunson was. We'll talk about how good Dante DiVincenzo and Miles McBride and Isaiah Hartenstein were. But first, I just want to go over the latest news and rumors that surround this basketball team right now. Jake Fisher of Yahoo Sports put out a big-time kind of trade deadline preview, and he said this, New York made outgoing calls on bigs after losing Mitchell Robinson to an injury, but the addition of Preston Chua alongside OG and Anobi has rival executives preparing for Knicks to explore backcourt options. They can explore from Alec Burks, to Malcolm Brogdon, and the premier point guard on the market may be DeJounte Murray. Jake Fisher also said, New York surely has plans to keep searching for upgrades. The Knicks will explore a wide range of names from former Tom Thibodeau favorite Alec Burks in Detroit, in Detroit to the sturdy Malcolm Brogdon in Portland. Let's talk Brogdon. We'll go Burks and then Murray. Let's start with Malcolm Brogdon. Right now he's on a two-year, $44 million contract. It's $22 million this year. 22 million next year, which makes him a viable trade target for the Knicks because they can match that salary with Evan Fournier making almost $19 million. I think Malcolm Brogdon is a really good player. And I think adding a guy like Evan Fournier along, alongside some protected first round picks could net you a guy like Brogdon. A reason I think my guy Malcolm would be a good Nick, uh, a good addition alongside the Knicks is for a couple of reasons. He's, he was a sixth man of the year last year. And when you watch this Knicks team, if Deuce isn't going to make four, four threes a night, you're going to need another guy to create some offense off the bench. And that's what Brogdon does. 15.7 points per game, 5.6 assists, and he's shooting 43.8% from the field. But he's shooting 41.3%, 41.4% from downtown, and he's shooting 52.6% on catch and shoot threes this year on over three attempts per game. What do you want to put alongside Jalen Brunson and Julius Randles? Guys that are ready to catch and shoot, knock them down in a high clip, and can play make off the bounce. That's exactly what a guy like Malcolm Brogdon can do. Also, Jake Fisher mentioned a guy like Alec Burks as a potential trade target. And Alec Burks has not had that good of a season for the Detroit Pistons. But we know a guy like Burks is not only, I guess it's safe to say, somewhat of a fan favorite, for the New York Knicks, but he is a Tom Thibodeau guy through and through. I mean, his last game against the Utah Jazz um, on January 3rd, he had 27 points on 9 of 17 and 5 of 9 for 3. And that's kind of where Burks, I mean, we know who Alec Burks is, right? As long as he's not point guard, I'll take him on my team. Uh, but this year, he's only shooting 35% from 3, which isn't bad, but it's not great. But he shot 41 uh, percent last year, 40% the year before, 41 the the year before that and 38th year before that. So his numbers are a little bit down, but I would take a guy like Alec Burks to kind of lead my second unit. But like Jake Fisher said, they're also going to have their eyes on the potential best point guard in the trade market, and that starts with a guy like DeJounte Murray. We've talked about Murray a couple of kind times on this channel, and while I'm not sure if Murray is the ideal perfect fit, perfect puzzle piece next to Jalen Brunson. There are people, according to reports from Ian Begley, that believe people inside the Knicks building believe he's a perfect fit. Why do I not think that? Because of the three-point shooting. I understand it's a three-point career high year for him at 38%. But the prior three years tells me I'm not sure if that's sustainable. 34% last year, 32% the year before, 31% the year before that. What I do like is he's shooting 37.5% on 3.6 catch-and-shoot threes a night, and he's knocking down 40.5% of his pull-up threes, which is 2.5 per night. I also like the ability for DeJounte Murray to be that good defender. Coming out of Washington in his early years with the uh, San Antonio Spurs, he was regarded as one of the most versatile and multiple defenders on the defensive side of the floor. I'm not necessarily sure that DeJounte Murray is still that type of player, but I do believe that he would give the Knicks some juice uh, on the defensive end. I also like him for this reason. He can create for himself. And he can create for others. The Knicks need that. When Jalen Brunson is out, you can have DeJounte Murray running the point guard position for you and kind of be the engine to this offense. Uh, a lot of people be like, but Marshall, it didn't work for Trey Young and DeJounte Murray. One, I think that's unfair. The Atlanta Hawks last year went to game six against the Boston Celtics in round one. Has it not worked out record-wise this year? Sure. But I don't know if that's so much because of the fit of Trey Young and DeJounte Murray. I would say that's a lack of talent. Why would it be different with the Knicks? One, 
Jalen Brunson can play off ball. He is an elite catch-and-shoot three-point guy. Last year, he shot almost 50% from catch-and-shoot threes. Number one in the NBA of all players that average more than 18 points per game. Another reason. You have a guy like OG Ananobi. The, the Atlanta Hawks don't have a guy like OG Ananobi outside of Trey Young and DeJounte Murray. But the final point, when Julius Randle is on, we know he's an all-NBA player. And the Atlanta Hawks don't have an all-NBA player outside of Trey Young and potentially DeJounte Murray. Murray could potentially be the fourth option for the Knicks. He's option two for the Hawks, and I think that's why it would pay a little bit of difference. The two guys I would like to see the Knicks target, though, are Malcolm Brogdon and DeJounte Murray. So I want to ask all the real ones out there and factor in the price to make these trades. It's going to cost you way more to trade for DeJounte Murray than it would for Brock. And I think you'd have to include a guy like Quentin Grimes in a game in a trade for Murray alongside Fournier and Picks. Well, I think Fournier and Picks could just get it done for Malcolm Brogdon. So I'll ask you, who do you want? Factor in the price, fit, and everything. Type MB for Brogdon, type DM for Murray. I'd be happy for both, but I want to know what you guys have to think. Coming up, we'll break down all the Knicks highlights against the 76ers. They molly whopped them on ESPN, and Stephen A. doesn't know what to say. But first, I got to give a huge shout-out to today's sponsor, Factor. Go to factormeals.com slash KnicksChat50. Use that promo code KnicksChat50, and Factor will match your initial deposit up to uh, excuse me, Factor will give you 50% off your first order. When you go to factormeals.com slash nickschat50, use the promo code nickschat50, you'll get 50% off. The new year is here. It's time to think healthier, smarter, and be more organized, and Factor Meals can help you do all of that. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Chef prepared, dietitian approved, fresh, never frozen meals. Low calorie options, high protein options, low carb options, veggie options, and vegan options, and so much more. I love the smoothies. Factor has changed my life, and I would kindly ask you guys to give them a try. Support the show. Support the sponsor. It's factormeals.com slash nickschat50. Promo code nickschat50. So there's a lot of trade rumors surrounding this New York Knicks team, and rightfully so. Uh, there's going to be another trade, whether that be at the deadline or in the offseason. But right now, since the OG and an OB trade, the New York Knicks look like one of the best teams in the NBA. You beat the Minnesota Timberwolves. You beat the Philadelphia 76ers by 36 points. And you beat some team a couple of days ago that I'm blanking on. Uh, that was a pretty good team as well. Uh, let me pull up the schedule. You beat Chicago Bulls. They're not very good. Um, but you beat arguably a team that's top three in the East, and you beat a team that's top three in the West. And tonight... You beat the Philadelphia 76ers with OG and Anobi shooting less than 50%, having an off night offensively, and Julius Randle having an off night offensively. But you know what I saw from OG and Anobi? Defense all night long. He guarded uh, Embiid for a little bit. He did a heck of a job when he was matched up on Tyrese Maxey. Sure, the points right now and the field goal percentage aren't all that great, but it is obvious that the New York Knicks are a much better team with a guy like OG on the floor. And the more minutes he plays, the more minutes he plays, the more he learns the rotations, the lineups, the schemes, and the off-ball movements, and the offensive flow, he's going to fit in even better than he already has. <gasps> I'm not worried about his offensive game at all. Continue to be one of the best wing defenders in the league. That's why you're here. I mean, Jalen Brunson was absolutely phenomenal tonight against the Philadelphia 76ers. He was the best guard in the game. He outplayed Tyrese Maxey. He had an electric second quarter where I believe he had 15 points, and they put the Knicks up 20 in that first half, and they never looked back. Um, only two assists for him tonight. Not really tripping off that. He had 26 assists combined in the prior two games. That's the efficiency for me. 29 points on 20 shots, 55% for the deck, and 44.4% from downtown on nine attempts. You play like that, you're going to win a lot of ball games when Jalen Brunson's on your side. I can't help but give a shout-out to my guy, Miles McBride, who was electric in that first half, especially in that first quarter. Miles McBride went 4 of 4 from downtown, and he was great. He was a spark plug because we've talked about it. When you go to that lineup of McBride and Grimes and Randall and Hart and a big, they have been offensively uh, – they have been very bad offensively in those first two games. But Deuce, with four fourth first quarter threes, set that team up for success. And he is a huge part in why the Knicks won this game. We'll talk about Randall and Grimes coming up in a second. But first, I got to give a huge shout out. I mean, I got to tell you guys to subscribe. We put out free Knicks content every single day here. We are on the cusp of getting to 32,000 subs on the channel. That's a huge accomplishment. And I want you to be a part of it. If you're looking for free, informative, passion-driven Knicks content for free every day, subscribe right now. 
Julius Randle. The Knicks were able to beat the Philadelphia 76ers by 36 points with Randle having one of his worst games of the season. Eight points, seven rebounds, five assists, but he was just completely inefficient. I thought he got in his own, own head a little bit. Um, one of 11 from the field. Didn't play well, but how often could we say that J Julius Randle plays a stinker and he beat a team by 40 who was projected by a lot to come out of the Eastern Conference? A guy that I was thrilled about tonight. A guy that I have been a fan of for a very long time, and because of the lack of success he's had this year, I've had to kind of eat crow a little bit and walk back my takes, but I stand by everything I've said. Quentin Grimes is a professional basketball player, and he plays the game the right way. And if you could get Quentin Grimes to get back to the player he was last year, man, this team can be special. It really, really can. You had another guy off the bench in Grimes that can shoot 44% from three and get to 19 and eight rebounds. It was the energy. It was the effort. It was the way he forced himself into the action. Eight boards. That's called want to. And Quentin Grimes could be a big part of this team going forward. They need him to keep putting up performances like him. Shout out to QG. Hope he continues to hoop. We got to see Precious Achua flash off that offensive game just a little bit. I know only five points, but he had a nice baseline drive where he finished over the top of the defense, and he knocked down a three. Overall, the Knicks dominated. One of the best games of the Knicks season so far this year. I'm so damn proud of them. Continue to play hard. Tom Thibodeau, you coached your butt off tonight. Isaiah Hartenstein, we didn't even talk about him, but the dude was electric. 17 points for Hartenstein. Six rebounds, five assists, two steals, two blocks. And he did a hell of a job on Joel Embiid. Uh, I mean, I know Embiid had 30 and 10, but he made him work, Coop. He was 10 at 23 from the field. And you force the big fella to shoot less than 50%, you get a hats off. My game ball goes to Isaiah Hartenstein. 17 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 blocks, 2 steals. I Hart was everywhere, and he played 35 minutes. Josh Hart was electric, 10 points, 15 boards, 6 assists. He was great. He was a plus 46. <laughs> Josh Hart was a plus 46. What a game for the Knicks. What a game for the Knicks. It's not many times in an NBA season that you get to feel this happy about our team. Enjoy it. Have fun, Knicks fans, and we'll be back tomorrow with another video. I want to close the show with a question to you guys. Are the Knicks NBA title contenders? Are the Knicks NBA title contenders? Yes or no? Let me know what you think down below. As always, I just want to say thank you, and I appreciate you for tuning in to Knicks Now by Chat Sports. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel and give me a follow over on Twitter. Uh, at Marshall Green underscore. That's my Twitter. So give me a follow over there. Yep, that's it. Let's go. Go Knicks. <laughs> I saw the X. And I was like, what is that? It's Twitter. X, Twitter. It's all the same. All right. I got to run to the restroom real quick, Coop. I'm going to use the restroom. Sounds I'm going to fill good. up the boot. And then we're going to close out the show with a boot. And we're going to sign off. Sounds like a plan. Let's I'll, go Knicks. I'll give some shout outs to the homies. Marshall will be right back. What are the homies saying? Let's not get our hopes up. Yeah, I would agree. I don't think they're NBA title contenders. Are they contenders to make the Eastern Conference Finals, though? They might be. They might be. Seal Pacito, Marsh is going to get the boot right now. So we will be doing that momentarily. As I watch my Mavericks destroy the Portland Trailblazers for the second straight game. Happy about that. Knicks Galaxy says not yet. I agree. I don't think they are yet. I think they're a player away. They won a playoff series last year, which is a big first step. Can you get to the conference finals this year? I think that should be the goal for the Knicks. Anything after that's gravy. I know the Knicks want to win it all, but it's a gradual step. Gradual step to that. Oh, Seal, you could use a boot. Brother, those boots are hard to take down. Three beers, three uh, happy dads as Marsh is going to do. Those boots are hard to take down, man. BX banging! What's up, my guy? What's going on? What is going on? Oh, Nico. Of course. I hope I said you. Yes, Nico. Okay, cool. If they make it through the first and second rounds, you know they have a shot at the gold. Oh, absolutely they do. If you get to the conference finals, all bets are off. Right now, if I had to pick a favorite in the Eastern Conference, kills me to say it. I think it's the Boston Celtics. Jason Tatum, I think, 
I think he's the eighth best player in the NBA. I have him. I don't think he's the number one option. I think the Knicks can beat the Celtics in the playoff series, though. I think they can. Seal, OG has made a real difference to this team as pieces that fit. OG's an awesome player, man. I know he struggled tonight for, on the offensive end, but he was absolute clamps on the defensive end. Just 11 points tonight, 3 of 11 from the field. He was asked to do so much on the defensive end, though. Guarded Joel Embiid a lot. Had, t had Tobias Harris in hell. They put him on Maxi, which I actually love. I love putting the bigger wing on the non-big playmaker of the other team. So I love OG on Maxi. He, he's, an, he's an awesome defender. And that's what he came to the Knicks to do. He came to defend. He's going to knock down threes. He's going to score. OG's been a professional scorer for a long time. If the shot isn't falling, and that, that's the most important about, excuse me, most important part about OG's game. If the shot's not falling, that doesn't affect his defense. He's still locked down on the defensive end. He's able to compartmentalize, which is a huge part of being an NBA player nowadays. He's able to compartmentalize. Taj, I agree. I hate Boston, but I think they're the favorite right now. Pains me. Absolute pains me. Marsh will be back shortly. BX Pengen. Dude, I know. I, I, I don't know if I've ever lost a Knicks game when I've been on the stream. I don't know if I've ever lost. We've been doing these for one and a half seasons now. I legit cannot remember a game that the Knicks lost when I've been producing. I'm, I swear to you. I don't think I've ever lost a game producing on this channel. I can't remember one. I'm serious. Boston game last year. Lord Buddy Bear's in the chat. Buddy Bear says he's in 12 Chat Sports Hall of Fames now. Lord Buddy Bear, you're an absolute ledge, dude. I don't even know what to tell you. Johnson says Coop needs to take Seep's job. I could never replace the great Patrick Seepman, one of my very good friends. Um, Seeps does a great job. I could never replace him. Marsh says fuck Seeps. Um, I would never say that about Seeps. That's my homie. That's my home. Nah, Seeps is the home. Seeps, Seeps is a real one. All righty. It's beer back. boot time. It's beer boot time. It's boot time. <laughs> John Sim, you says, Coop, why don't you live with Seeps and Rolly? Well, Marsh lives with Seeps and Rolly. I guess I could live on their couch, but I'm not sure if they You have back. stayed the night before. I have spent the night at Marsh Seeps and Rolly. <laughs> I Rolly's love that, crib. by the way. I have spent the night there before. Had a little too much one night. Went back to the crib. Slept. It was, it was good. I have spent All right. the night at their house. The boot is full. The boot's ready. The boot's ready. Is Marshall Green ready? No. We are going to do this. Uh, and then we're going to sign off. Because that's that, Jack. All right. Boots full. Um, if you need help with the boot, let me know. Nah, we're gonna thug this out. How much are the the, the Mavs are up one thirty six to one hundred? How My much are they up? Tells me that's thirty six. <laughs> Damn, they beat their ass. Yeah, two straight games. Who Luke, hooped for them? Luca did not play tonight. Kyrie had twenty four. Josh Green had eighteen. Who is that? That is Greg Brown the third. I have. I was told by a little birdie that Derek Jones Jr. has played good this Derek year. Derek Jones Jr. has been awesome. Derek Jones and Dante Exum. How? Derek Jones, Derek Jones has been the perfect wing next to Luka and Kyrie. Uh, he can all of a sudden put it on the deck, take it to the hole, playing great defense, shooting respectable from three. He's been awesome. That's Dante, ridiculous. It's, it's ridiculous. And Dante Exum has been absolutely unbelievable as the third ball handler. Mavs found two great bargain bin... Uh, Signings there, for sure. Seal, Petit, Seal Pesito says Seeps loves the Knicks. He needs to come out of the closet. <laughs> See, I think Seeps is open about his, li his he life. He does love the Knicks. Knicks. He does. He is a Bulls fan by nature. It's how he was raised, but he does love the Knicks. He's a huge Josh Hart and Jalen Brunson fan. Woo! Johnson U says extend their weekend win streak. Are you live tomorrow, too? Johnson U, should we be live tomorrow? If you want us to be live on the channel tomorrow, type Y for yes. If 
you want us to be live? I've been this- debating it. I haven't had an off day this week. I have the Steelers game tomorrow, so I will not be here. So if the Knicks lose, you can blame it on me. People want the, the show tomorrow. F it. Do we do it? Do we do it? I'm off tomorrow. I could come in. I could come in. Are y'all going to bring the energy tomorrow? I better not be in here with 200 people shaking ass for nobody. Are y'all going to be loud and proud tomorrow? Drinking, talking shit, and watching the Knicks. You're living the dream. <laughs> Ain't no, that the nobody truth. Said it says it better than that. It seems like they want you to go live. All righty. I'm chugging this. Let's go. Everyone type chug in the chat. Spam those chugs. Marsh putting his body on the line for the New York Knicks nation. LB so wavy. We play the Wizards tomorrow. 7 p.m. Eastern tip-off. Spam those chugs. Let's go. Chug, 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 chug. They call him Marshall Green, the go. That's what they call him. And on that note... We're going to sign off. We'll sign off. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll be here. Let's go, Knicks. Bring your A game.